have it's, a bunch of... I wish I, I, I wish I could do a spit take right now, but I already saw it. Yeah, Always Sunny is a really, really good show. Oh, yeah. Throw a little back up if you want. Just hey. some of my coffee. Hey. Welcome to Off Topic. <laughs> Uh, Hello. I'm Jeremy. I'm hosting this week because Michael's not here again. But joining me, we have Jeff, Alfredo, Yeehaw! Ryan, and special guest, Nick Scarpino. Hi, everyone. Thanks All for having me. From I, worked, the, from I, I worked at a deal where for every 12 morning shows I appear on for Nick, he'll appear on one off topic. It's a good, it's a good deal. It's you a, have a good exchange card? rate for me. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great. And this episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Blue Apron. Ryan just kicked it. It Maybe came from the wrong side. It didn't work. Mm. Yeah. Give it a flavor kick. That's right. I kicked like it up kick a notch. Kick your taste buds. Emerald's all about it. Is he, he? He's the one. That, no, he bammed. He bammed. He's a bammer. Yeah. It kicks a bam. Man, I had. Kick is a bam. It's a, yeah. I oh, guess. the next stage. <laughs> it's it's a how, I mean, it's, if you lean into <laughs> he it. He said kick it up a notch. So there you go. Oh, no. Knock it up a notch. And knock right, it, knock, no, no, kick it up a notch. Knock it up a notch. Bam. That's Elzar. That's Elzar from Future Thomas. Knock it up a notch. <laughs> Speaking of catchphrases, <laughs> I just I just filmed in the next Rally. episode of Best Bite with uh, Ezra Cooperstein. Yep, yep. Did you need to change and your shirt? In the, no, I'm, I'm fine. I, it turns out I I can eat like an adult. Yeah. Uh, without spoiling it, Ezra gave himself a catchphrase. Oh. <laughs> I want Which might be is. the funniest fucking thing I have seen this year. I'm not gonna say funniest thing ever. Oh, okay. Tell, tell me this that. though. Tell me this. Did he? Like take this home and like workshop it, and he was like, he I don't came know. in loaded with one, know. or was it impromptu? I, he says he was he came in loaded. He said he'd done some research oh. and uh, without giving too much no. anything away. But I'd like to imagine there's a focus group involved in this, like a boardroom of people that voted. <laughs> like, I'm gonna yeah. if he like I'm fired gonna someone, like, and then and then he like promoted one person, fired. Someone he hired and, like, like he hired an ad game. agency like Deutsch or White and Kennedy. Yeah, and they, yeah, <laughs> they focus grouped it. Uh, it's one of the funnier things I have seen, and he's so enthusiastic about his catchphrase. It's fucking. It's Can you give us a infectious. hint as to what it might? Is, I will is tell you what it is. I'd like to know what it is. Off camera. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> By the way, nice. um, not what I want. So look for that episode of Off Topic is pre-recorded. We're recording this on Thursday, and you're watching it on Friday if you're a first member. So if just you're a know first that. member, not a piece of shit. So just shit all you over. Watch the it magic. when it comes out. I mean, yeah. You can say whatever you want in the chat because we won't see it. There you go. Oh, thanks, Rebecca. Oh, we can just throw in a few. That's a great oh, Peter Hayes. Yeah. That's a great gift. Thanks again, Rebecca. <laughs> well, give them something gifable. I'm excited to. Two people. Do something yep. gifable real quick. There it is. There it is. <laughs> that was great. Now there just, it is. just you know, add in some like cat yeah. heads or something. Or do, I'll do like, here, how about this? <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Follow that. Gif. Like, what right. did they say during that moment? What happened? Who knows? They'll be like, that face when, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll happen. They'll come up with something better than we would have anyway. So we're, uh, <sighs> well, in town for like me, an hour. You and uh, Ryan are freshly back from another ghost hunt. We went ghost hunting. Yeah. Yeah, we filmed, uh, I don't know what episode it is because we film out of, out of order, obviously. Mm -hmm. But we it's the third ghost hunt we've done post pilot. Yes. Like the yes. third ghost hunt of the series yep. that we've done. And we were in uh, another little town in Louisiana. I don't yeah, know if I should another... say the town. But another, this is the, now the third ghost hunt we've done in Louisiana. Yeah. While the it's humid and miserable. <laughs> most humid cesspool of a fucking state. It was better this time. It was a little bit better. Also, was it? <laughs> yes, it was better. It was better than the sawmill. Jeremy was in a place that was 187 degrees. <laughs> now I was in there for a while. He was. <laughs> the entire state is an oven. It was it's bad. just an oven. Mm. You guys do any ghost hunting up in San Francisco? Mm. The kind of funny guys? No, they do like a tour. They do a tour packs. every once in a while. Yeah, but Greg, Greg's there, the right? closest thing we get to hunting ghosts, and by that I mean he just eats chicken wings and a lot of pizza and plays VR games. Now. He's That's, very white. <laughs> he's so white. Yeah. He's ghoulishly white. So he whips off the shirt, and it's like having a supernatural it is, experience. It is an experience. Yeah. That's for sure. There's a smell factor usually associated with it. I've never like smelled a, him when he's been shirtless. Get in there, man. You're it's, missing out. If I just really got to get up maybe, in there. Yeah. If yeah, you yeah, haven't smelled a shirtless teeth. Greg Miller, you haven't been around Greg Miller. <laughs> I've been around Greg Miller. I've been around shirtless Greg Miller. I just must not have been downwind. No, no, yeah. You got to catch him like mid convention. Oh, like mid. Show floor. That's that's not too, no. that, and that's the best. Not to get off on a side, like too far off on a sidetrack here, sure. but if you had. Oh, to, there's a picture. If you had to kill one oh, member, if you had to kill one member of Kind of Funny, how would you kill Kevin? How would I kill okay. Kevin? <laughs> uh, oof. Probably electrocution. 
because he's always around electric stuff, like computers. Yeah, you can play it off. Yeah. Uh, he oh, just like recently accident. started welding, and so I feel like that writes itself. <laughs> of course Kevin is welding. Yeah, he's welding oh, his own sure. bed. So you can imagine how much his wife Oh, you catch fire that. all the time when welding. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, no, it would it's, just be... But I mean, just, just to be clear, if I ever, if, if, big if, I ever do decide to attempt to kill Kevin, I have to take at least everyone around him with me, just to be sure. So if you're mm. friends with him, he ha you're all going. You're all going at the same time. <laughs> I feel like we're all pretty safe. That's how you disguise yeah, once you guys know that one death. Like yeah, well, no, I safe. just mean like, I can't risk distance. him. You know how that was like, you, that, you always get that point in the movie where they're like, we killed the bad guy. No, you didn't kill the bad guy because mm. you didn't take the steps. You got to fucking bomb the whole building. Just, just bomb the whole building. 100%. Yeah. Like clean slate. Just nuke it. I feel like it'd be easy to, to off Kevin if he was welding. Just give him some time. You know, like just just drop hints that he's looking a little ashy around, you know, the arms Dude. and everything, and then give him some type of lotion that's uh like Fla like flammable. 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 All you yeah. gotta do you just, <laughs> he's just you, unkillable. You swap <laughs> out, <laughs> you take his, his neutral gas tank, replace it with propane. Boom. No problem. Damn. Oh, we know. We Listen, messed up. Listen, Listen to all these plans happening. You get, I know how yeah. welding blow, so you blowing get, up works. Yeah, that was you, right, you, you get a cheap neutral gas tanks. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> I thought it was argon. But no. no, it's propane. Man, so, this this morning, propane or propane? we were, we were watching the latest slow episode. Yeah, the, um, yeah. That little pun face puncher. The I it's like a massage thing, yeah. Yeah. Slow -mo guys. I cannot get the slow, the high speed image of Dan Grishy's man titties flapping. The nipple. <laughs> they really did a close head. up on his tit. <laughs> oh my god. And he was like erect. Too. Yeah, no, he was yes. feeling it. It was, it couldn't have been cold. He was out of tension. So I think he was just cold. enjoying You can it. call a nipple hard. I've never really heard a nipple called erect before. Did, sure. did, did you yeah, see that I've nipple? It depends on the erect. length of the nipple. I don't yeah, like anyway. hearing yes. it. Oh, you know, God, yeah, some nipples are longer than others. Yeah, some nipples man. are a little too long. Sometimes Sometimes he's got out, one of those nipples nice that has, like, sub-erection. Yeah. He's got, like, the primary, and then there's a couple Oh, he's got, like, he's got, like, he's got, like, nipple acne. He's got some yeah. orbital satellites. Yeah, 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 exactly. Have I ever told you guys about the distended nipple that it used to be in my life? Have I not? So, okay. That, I have a couple in my, my life. My first, it wasn't mine. It's guys I work my, with. My first wife, her family was... Not her, but her family was ultra religious. I've okay. talked about this in probably the RT podcast years ago. I won't bore you guys with old ass stories about suffering through an ultra religious family who made me do really creepy shit. Sounds fun. But they had they uh, they didn't believe in social security cards because that's how the devil would track you like that that level of <laughs> well, religious. devil and the government. Well, and the IRS. Yeah. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. I thought you were talking about that's fringe religions. I mean, that's just commonly accepted. Yeah, yeah. right. Social no, of course. Yeah. Once you pop into hell, he's like so. Like <laughs> they didn't have uh, birth certificates. Some of them, the kids. And uh, so no flying, no, 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 driver's no, license no, 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 leaving the country, no working, like no having a productive real life outside of their weird little town. But uh, one of the kids, uh, they also didn't believe in uh, the doctor. Like if God oh, wants you, one of those uh, healing by prayer. God wants you to live, He'll heal you. Yeah, right. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say not a lot of vaccines flying around in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm actually fine with that belief. Uh, for you mean the devil's juice? People. Yeah, what? yeah, devil juice. I, I, I'm just fine, fine with ultra like super fringe religious people not believing in doctors. I'm okay with that. Yeah, they're yeah. they're lovely. Yeah. They're, they're nice people. Yourself it's the a, it's a self self solving problem, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. okay to be okay. It, give it 10, 15 years, we're gonna be fine. I mean, there was an episode of Grey's Anatomy based around that subject, and it was a struggle for everyone. Yeah. But one of the one of the people in the family, one of the kids, really cool kid. Uh, he, uh, I just, I, I must have been hard to grow up with those those people as your parents and, and aunts and uncles and stuff. But he used to like pull on his nipple a lot like this when he was like a little kid. Like and nobody ever stick. stopped him. And when I knew him, this was a long time ago. He's an adult man time. now. Yeah, I mean, they, they, sure, they, they go swimming and stuff. He had, like, a normal nipple, and then he had a nipple that, like, did like this. That is... He had, like, he, like, a spaghetti nipple. He, like, pulled a spaghetti nipple out. And so he had, like, normal nipple, and then, like, a nipple that was, I'm not kidding you, like, this Would old. he, like, tie oh. his own for the holidays? And it or? would be, like... Oh. Like, if he'd run, his nipple would go... <laughs> Every few years, did he just, like, nip it off to kind of reset? No, but if he did, they wouldn't take him to the doctor. Like, flapping yeah. in the wind? Well, it just cauterized Dude, him. what yeah. happened oh, when it got yeah. cold? No, they, oh, they, yeah. <laughs> now, there's a man with uh, normal size nipples. Yes. <laughs> oh. Look at all the sub nipple boners. Now yeah. I want to I want to say this about Dan. He is a very confident man, and I know that because shouldn't be, but he is. He has a very good tan, which means he spends a great deal of time shirtless. He loves the sun. I can He's tell. So he has to. Like, it's weird. Though. Takes it when he gets. It's not. It's not. Right. Yeah, I was gonna say it's not. It's not. Where is he finding? It's a luxury. It's normal for a Brit. I make fun to of Dan. Pretty much constantly for being a dumb piece of shit because yeah. mostly he is. 
Broad but Menem, I can attest to that. He's an advi- I love him to death. I, like, like you love, uh, well, like you yeah, love most of you, you know what I mean? You get yeah. Right. Uh, but he, uh, he's an adventurous lad. I'll give him that. He's always out like whitewater rafting or, I mean, he doesn't have a lot of stamina anymore, obviously, but like, he's always out like climbing a mountain or doing something. So he gets a good tan because he's always out like doing shit. He's not sitting at home playing video games all day long like I am. He's out like, he's got a YouTube channel doing that now, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Post another video or is it just, I don't think he posts very often. I think it's just like whenever he's on vacation, he gets, he films something. I I don't know exactly how that works. Going, it's more going, shit than I do. Going back to <laughs> yeah. going back to nipples. <laughs> All right. All right. Lead us down since this I, path. Since I have so many different ethnicities, it's like it's just like my body part roulette. Do you have different nipples? No. Yeah, like a white nipple. But oh, like when nipple? they have a blue eye. I and like don't. A, yeah. Uh, but cool. they're they're dark and they don't match my skin color. Oh, so you, then got the, like, you got the brown nipples. I got the like the really dark. The Hershey brown. The, the Hershey Kiss nipples. Dude, I love those. Yeah, they're the Hershey sexy. Kisses. So Jack Jack used to be like, oh, she try this shirt. Like she wanted me to try non dark colors. And I'm yeah, like, I right. can't see through. Those so are the like, yeah. pop. Oh, you oh can dude, see it the nips. sees you right oh. through. You can see uh, exactly where the nips are. Don't what? Don't do that. No, no. Be proud of those nips. I don't. I don't want to expose the world. Let your fly. I don't it's, want, you know, have you, a conversation, all of a sudden you're just... You should get a white shirt with light polka dots, and then people won't know they which blend. one. That's true. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. There was a time where, I don't know if you guys believe this or not, when I used to work with Alfredo when he was a young buck, where what he would do was, if you t- if you were, like, rooming with him, or if you let him in anywhere you where were rooming on a trip, mm-hmm. he would, they would sneak in there, and, like, when you were gone, or if in the bathroom or the kitchen, he would take all of his clothes off and he would take pictures of himself naked in yeah. your bed, or, like, in your suitcase, or in your closet, or in one case, on a pinball machine, in a weird Airbnb that you're renting. And so I just find it a little hard to swallow, no pun intended, mm-hmm. that you don't want to show people your nipples. Because I've seen you naked, lo- no lie, like, 15 times. No, I mean, I mean, if I'm shirtless, fine. But I just like if my shirt is on, <laughs> okay. then I, I'm not trying to. So you, expose you my find nipples. it distracting. When the shirt's yeah. on. No, I, I, I get it. Like if the shirt's off, there's an expectation of nipple. Right. That's nipples. intentional nudity. I'm yeah. not trying to be here on off topic, showing off. I understand. You don't want people nips. wondering, you know, getting that moment sense. where they're like, put it. Does he yeah. want what is going on like right Alfred there? Alfred is yeah. like, yeah. sir, my eyes are up here. They're right. So I'm making you know, eye contact I'm with multiple man-me. bits of you right now. And I don't know which one I'm supposed to look at. I remember that. That was like one of Tim and I's first E3s. <laughs> there it is. There, there, it there is. we go. Look at this. Oh, look at that guy. Look at this, him. Let me tell you one thing right now. Look. If you have a daughter and she works at Starbucks, you better lock her up. Because Alfredo is coming for that moment. Oh. <laughs> Alfredo. So what happened with this? I saw this on Twitter <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> well, okay. uh, Give me so anything what, really, any flavor caramel. So what happened was th- with this is that Tim, Tim was like, look, uh, I gotta go away for a week, IGN sending me to this event. And at the time, Tim and I haven't been to, separated for more than like a day or two for years. So he left and I filmed this to Lionel Richie's hello. Mm-hmm. And then what happened was when he came back, I emailed it to the entire video team at IGN. And so everyone was, pop- this was popping up on everyone's computers. You oh, just hear God. like, hello, hello, is it? and like everywhere. And Tim's like, what the fuck is happening? He gets up and he sees this, my little tribute to our, our bro friendship. And uh, yeah, it's just clips of me and him and things that we've done in the past. And I slowed him down so it looks really sexual. Tell you what, when when, I, when Tim and Alfredo left IGN, they fought real hard to keep him. Real, <laughs> I can real tell. hard to keep him. <laughs> you know, that was like a that must have been a good five minute conversation of like, let him go. Yeah, let him go. Yeah, let, yeah, let him, let's just let him go. He's getting out. He's the, the dark nipple guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really, I don't really think about my nipples that often. I guess mine are fine. I, I don't. I just have fine nipples. But when it comes to the light like, shirts, I have to check. I, medium I have to do a nipple check. Jeff, what you got under there? Clearly, got like a bog standard yeah. nipple. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I feel like I don't have anything to write home about. It's just a, yeah. It's mine's like a nice, just kind of pink color. Yeah. Like, you need like a nipple and a nice little ring of hair around it. Do it people nice. ever? Do you think everyone, everyone, everyone ever bleaches the nipple? For you know how they bleach, they bleach an they bleach an asshole. Hole? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I wonder if people actually bleach the nipple so it's just like you look like a Barbie doll or a Ken doll. I don't. I'd like to do that. I don't know if I see the appeal in that. Is there a roost? Is there like an achievement on a roost teeth show where they would allow like pay for me to do that just to one million dollars? But there is now. Well, I'm gonna. It's in development as of this moment. <laughs> I'm, I'm can we bleach it, it? Is it called Can We Bleach yeah, it? Will it bleach? <laughs> or is that too close to Ezra's catchphrase? That's my, that's my question. How close am I getting to that territory? It was something. I want to know it so badly. 
and then I want to immediately make fun of him for doing it. <laughs> that's the that's the fun part of not technically working for Rooster Teeth. The he's first okay. episode, he's I don't like, know what he's going to come out. The first bit. episode of Best Buy Separation. He cuts me a little more slack. Three and a half months to come out, or four months to come out. So this might not be till 2019, but it was very fucking fun. Is it going to be in the episode, do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. all over the episode. Okay. The you, you, you couldn't cut around it. Well, how many times does he drop this catchphrase? He, we all it's the only it, thing but. he says. <laughs> <laughs> he only communicates through catchphrases. Can we go around the table and try to guess what it is? Please do. Here's my guess. It's beefy. Uh, that Sarah, that's really no. similar to what I was saying. It's saucy. All right, how about uh, time to meet the meat? That's good as well. That's not bad. That's I'm, not thinking, bad. I'm thinking he takes a bite. If he likes mm -hmm. it, he just goes... Ah, bada ba boom pow. Okay, so it's just mixed just mojo. Just kind of scattered. Bada bop, boom and pow. Can I guess energy. one more? Oh, yeah. yeah. Can I guess what? He takes a bite and he goes, You're hired. You guys are very funny. Uh, all, all, don't tell us that because I like, I like our station in life. I don't want to. <laughs> I like being able to hang out together. He's not watching. He's, right? he's gone. He's not here today. Mm. He's full of meat somewhere in a coma. If right? Ezra was yeah. watching, he left right around the time I said Hershey nipples. And that was it. Yeah, yeah, that was, he was out. like, I don't need this shit, man. I, just, I got business things to do. Yeah. It's very to eat. Far I got too important. Lou Medina's doing something. He's getting married or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he's up to something. He's up to something. He's always doing something. Trevor. The other one. Yeah, yeah, ethnic Trevor, yeah. yeah. Ethnic Trevor, I, I think you and I are probably having a great time in New York right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. we're hanging out. Me? Look at us having fun. Out there. We got some free time to spend, yeah. so we're, we're doing stuff. Ryan, yeah. we're having a good time. He's the only ones in the office right now. Yeah, Jack's gone, Michael's gone, these two will be gone, Lindsay's Trevor's gone, gone. Lindsay's mm -hmm. gone. Literally, it's you and me in that office. So what I'm hearing is you guys aren't going to work tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, no, well, we got I mean, something to film in the morning. That what, what's happening buddies. is that they're filming a ton of Battle Buddy. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Weeks worth, months worth, <laughs> yes. years, it's just churning out. We've been, and I say we, I have not been a part of most of it because I, you know, never here. But uh, we, the Royal We Achievement Hunter, have been on a film and tear lately. Well, we need to. Nuts. We're averaging four or five videos a day, every day last week, and the week mm -hmm. before, for that matter. Yeah, I mean, totally. One this week necessary. fucking sucked. This week destroyed it. But yeah, yeah. This week was. And like, next week we're gonna have two days where most of us are gone again. Yeah, because we're doing another ghost hunt. And then our and holiday. there's a holiday. Ghost, and our and ghost and hunting holiday. Ghost, holiday oh, ghost okay. hunting. Ghost hunting. And then and we then, have two days. And, like, and Jack's out Thursday for something. Yeah, but that's Jack. Like, I'm we got two days with a bunch of people that matter here, and like, we can record a lot of stuff. I ju I was I was looking forward to like taking a bit of time to not travel so much. After RTX London, mm -hmm. um, I just picked up two new trips today. Nice. I might be out of town every week for the rest of 2018. Damn. Jeff, that's the opposite of what you wanted. I know. Remember <laughs> how you started that sentence with, I'm going to not travel I as know, much? I know. Do you I remember know. who you were at the beginning of that sentence? I know. What happened to that guy? I, that guy, he says yes to too much stuff. It's honestly, I'm, you I'm just in the put same him place. back down. <laughs> I'm actually in the same up. place as you, though, because I'm like, I, I noticed that I was. I think out of town six out of like five out of six weeks the past six weeks and I love it. it it's all fun stuff it's hard to say no to but at a certain point you have to like you kind of have to watch out and, and just start using the word no mm -hmm. occasionally occasionally I am excited because I realized tonight I, I realize I get to sleep in my bed two nights in a row oh that's exciting nice. I'm like, do you sleep well in hotels not, I not, don't. not great. No. Really? Why not? I, I typically do not sleep on well hotels. I, it's always the first. Like last night was my first night here, and I, just, I, every little noise, every little thing. I'm like, hmm. what is that? What's going on? It got to the point where I was like, I got. I'm in my own head. I'm starting to think about stuff that I don't have to worry about. I got to the point where I had to go downstairs and get a bag of pretzels, and then I came back up and watched Teen Wolf on Amazon Prime. Okay, and that did the trick. That put me right to bed. That oh, movie so will you, do didn't, it. you didn't watch Teen Wolf because it was on TV. You sought it out. No, yeah, I like it. <laughs> my, Amazon, yeah, my Amazon Prime is like Teen Wolf, uh, back to the, pretty much all the, the what's his name? I, Hammett. I fucking Michael, love, Michael J. Michael J. Fox. Fox. Yeah. I fucking love the, 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 like the heavy set dude on the team who's the bad guy in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Oh God, Any that's movie with from. that kid from the 80s, he's me, so great. Let me tell you, Teen Wolf, just makes no sense. Makes no <laughs> sense. What, that he continues to go to high school and just he's an out werewolf? He, he, it just, it starts off with a team of 
people who have no business playing basketball. Oh, Let's just yep. put it there, right? Awful. Michael J. Fox is like the point guard. Which I went to that school, so I understand it. Did happens. you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, I don't know the positions of basketball very well, Jeff. I know you're a fan of this. Sure. But he Better, seems to be an integral part of this team. There's the expensive one, is the one that wants to transfer. There's the Michael right. J. Michael J. Fox. He would be the shooting guard or point uh, point guard. Well, let's go for it. now. Let me he ask you this question: center. What is the average height? Do you think of a point guard in in the NBA? Six three. Six, okay, six, Michael J. Yeah, Fox, six, conservatively four three. He is yeah. a tiny, <laughs> small man. <laughs> and that makes no sense. Then it's casually He's dropped on him that hey, you come from a family of werewolves. Okay, during one of the games, he comes out as a werewolf. I understand this is thematic and this is whatever. It doesn't matter. Every and then he starts dribbling, dunks, and everyone's like, "Cool, we accept you as a werewolf." <laughs> At no point does the government get involved. With like, what is this abomination? It must be stopped. Yeah. He's throwing, but he takes a bowling ball and hurls it across the bowling alley to threaten a guy. Everyone's he's like the coolest guy. This guy's the coolest guy you've ever seen. I'm just saying there's a lot of flaws, there's a lot of holes. Yeah, makes sense, yeah. Not this is a future this. terrorist Look, or something. <laughs> there's a monster that maybe needs to put is down. A, this is an abomination. You gotta think, this, in this world uh, that he inhabits, werewolves are not like completely unknown, right? They gotta I, be like, oh, it's... Yeah. I guess. Oh, because he's like we don't he's, talk about it, but yeah, there's some werewolves. Yeah. Or <laughs> sometimes it skips a generation. Yeah, you know. that's what his dad says to him. Yeah, it's not yeah. realistic, man. The government got a hold of him. There'd be so many things up his ass. Oh uh, no, the army in that world be, is entirely yeah. werewolves. Don't worry, when yeah. college gets a hold of him, there'll be so many things up his ass. <laughs> also, his best friend's name in the movie was Boof, which yeah. I find to be one of the best names ever. Boof, that's right. Boof. Because that Oof. is the term Oof. that I use for sneaking things into um, situations up your butt. You boof Boofing it. it? Yeah, okay. you boof it. So is that something that, that happens catchphrase. to you so commonly that you need to? I don't know. Once in a while, you got to slide a credit card into the prison wallet. If you know what I'm talking about, just put it in there. Oh, it's that's so wide and flat. American Express, don't leave can home you, without it. Can you fold American it? American Express. I guess up you there, just need the, the American part, way. Right? I don't know. I mean, maybe the credit the card was this. I was, was using it as a metaphor for just like okay. illegal substances. Like, got it. You know, whatever. So you went with something that is flat, wide, and flat. <laughs> 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 that would most assuredly cause it's, damage. I don't yeah. think I've ever seen a credit card in an ass before. Yeah. I'm afraid I'll get up on I'm the table. I'm going to Google that tonight. There it is. No, don't Google pretend that tonight like, because like it's, it's definitely ball. happened. It'd be like that time I, Gavin was going to let me shove the uh, the tube in his ass and put Mentos and Coke in it. And then Oof. I thought, I'm going to Google this first. And then I saw what happens to Explodes. a man. It's not good. People yeah, can die. You can, can die from that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. die from that. So I decided not to do it. And Gavin was like, I'll be fine. I think that's don't. what happened to Matthew Perry. Did he die? No, but he had a ruptured bowel. Oh, that's probably what happened. He did. Or he has diverticulitis. What, what did he do? The Ugh. pinball machine stuff. That was at E3 in Fran's uh, apartment oh, that yeah. he rented. Oh, yeah. We used to like fucking with Fran Mirabella. Also, I still like fucking like, with Fran. Had, like, what was it? Head video team? Yeah, yeah. Head yeah. He, for some reason, got this elaborate Airbnb before Airbnb was like a commonly upheld mm -hmm. thing. So we're like, that's weird, of course. That had like pinball machines. You know, one of those downtown oh, LA that fancy yes. things. So we had this elaborate plan to like fuck with him uh, in his apartment. Yeah. Uh, and that consisted of me doing things all over the apartment but we need to get him to stay out of it but we need access to it yeah so we i think we finished we up wrapping up like a day or whatever and then we we're like Fran, let's go to your drunk. place and let's fucking hang out Woo! It's your fancy and then, place. so we went we opened the door and then someone came up i think it was naomi she came up and she was like hey downstairs they need you they're talking and complaining about right. what's going on and whatnot right so as soon as he the plan was for me to get butt ass naked <sighs> and take pictures all over the place. You gotta make it fast. And so, like, the door, <laughs> like the, the door, like, kind of left, the door shoot. shut, the and they're latch. like, Fredo, get, oh, he's already new. He's already there. And then it was just like on the pinball machine, on the bed, yeah. on the counter. Mm -hmm. And the plan, I don't really know what the end all goal was. We just took the photos. We, we took the photos. The and then I think oh, no, no, no. someone was like, maybe this is a bad idea. Like, maybe don't blackmail him with these photos or whatever we're gonna do with it because it might get you fired. It was a different time. Yeah, yeah. It was a different time. <laughs> No, we, but we ended up photoshopping Fran's head onto my body. Oh, I did use yeah, that a lot. Yeah, yeah. It was cathartic. Uh, Fran yeah. was my old boss at IGN. I used to work at IGN. What's up, everyone, if you don't know me? Um, and Alfredo <laughs> worked there, too. And uh, we love Fran, but like all bosses, he's a boss. And so you want to, you have to do something to sort of like mess with him a little bit. I used to take like famous nudes or famous shirtless guys and just really do really accurate Photoshop jobs with his face mm. onto them. Most famously I did, uh, do you remember when Daniel Radcliffe was in the Broadway show Equius? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he was, he was naked with a horse. <laughs> yeah. I have 
spot, like you can't, I swear to God, send it to a forensic scientist. You will not <laughs> be able to tell the forensic difference between science. that. Or, or the real picture. All the way down. Yeah, okay. yeah, I did, I did, I did <laughs> tutorials on creativecow.net to figure out how perfectly to get this. Um, and I was, you know, in my mind, I was like, I'm just going to screw with him forever with this. I did. And of course, like when Tim and I joined, that naturally passed on to us. Yeah. Yeah. You can't take part of the video. Seriously. So your, your nefarious plan, though, was you took naked pictures of all himself. over, of yeah. yourself, all over someone else's apartment that yeah. he just borrowed for a few days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. like swimming Not in his, his stuff. At one point he was swimming in uh, like France. <laughs> no, no. Uh, was that, that was, I got all, that was a different I got nude all over the pinball machine. Yeah. And then he came in and we're like, Fred, you gotta get the high score on this pinball machine. Oh, that's so. And then we started taking photos. I like that you can get nude and, uh, all over something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah nude all yeah. over. I was high legging in everything. He just drags sack not on every spot, button. Not a spot of dick seen by anyone. I, I, what does that uh, mean? How, how are you naked all over everything and no one sees dick? Well, so because you, just, you really like nest yourself up against it. So like the pinball okay. was like holding everything. You're Buffalo Bill. Hey, Buffalo Bill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 You got to get creative. With it. Okay. You know I mean? Okay. It's a so you made him touch basically all the place machine. where your balls. Yeah. He was. It was awesome. He was. Ha we had, we had video it was awesome. He was having fun. He was going for his high score. But then I think I think actually what we ended up doing was. We were like, play the pinball machine, and we took a picture of him. And yeah. then the goal, I think, was going to be to te like picture in picture, side right. by side, to everyone in the office. Like, hey, okay. Frank's playing, and then Alfredo's like, to everyone in the but, office. And then someone was like, maybe that's a bad idea. <laughs> that's where the that, too far. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Like maybe some CEO I'm glad there were still lines or a there. VP or someone of Ezra it level was, is going to be like, that's a fireable. Thing. It was that's a different. What time. they call a, a red zone violation in HR. Okay. Yeah. Bad idea. A lot of caution tape. Yeah. Not a good idea. There are there are thresholds even in our industry. Yeah. Where it's yeah. it's. it's a I mean, this was like ten years ago before we knew. You know, no one, yeah, it was, it was different was time. Nuts were out all the time. We didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Ah. yeah. I mean, it was you guys, an innocent time. To put this in context, innocent. ten years ago, Wild Wild West and corporations, you Absolutely. could just walk around pantsless, no one would care. You, you could, know? you demand it. Really. Nowadays, it's a policy. You're out. You do mm. that kind of stuff. And nowadays, you try, you try to install institute one open bathroom door policy at the office, and people look at you like you're crazy. Right. I'm mm -hmm. just trying to say everything's ruined. My office, just been in my office. It's so small that I don't understand. Why I can't just leave the bathroom door open while people are still talking to me and go to the bathroom? It's I, efficient. And it's an efficiency. Nobody wants the co-ed stallless bathroom. Huh? I do. That's I know. It's I do. Backwards what thinking. What is, is that Siri? This is my backwards. S shut up. I'm sorry. I, you know, I apologize. I apologize. You gotta be nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, didn't we just talk about this? One day. That's sorry. not acceptable now. Sorry. Different times. But still, still yeah. bad times. So Nick, know. you're not here for your health. No. I'm here because uh, we have done a documentary about my stand-up comedy career. That's an RT doc. We've talked about it a lot. And we are showing it uh, Friday night, which is August 31st. And by I assume by the time this goes live for everyone, it'll, it'll be, be tonight. It'll be tonight. Oh, it's going live tomorrow. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So tonight, Spider House Ballroom in Austin, Texas, downtown Austin. We are showing that at 7.30. Uh, we're going to do a little comedy show beforehand. Uh, then we're going to show that. And if we have time, we'll do a Q&A afterward with the director, producer, and myself. It's going to be fun. There will be alcohol served, I believe, oh. and that is, that makes everything better. Speaking yeah, there, I think it's Spider House. Comedy. Spider House has, definitely has alcohol. Yeah, I know. I'm excited for it. I'm sad I can't be there. I know. I'm bummed you can't be there either. But I'm hoping. Yeah, Lewis had to go and fall in love or whatever. Uh, but I'm hoping we do another one. Hopefully, Matt is. I don't know if we're allowed to say this or not, but I'll say it anyway. I mean, he's trying to get into other festivals and things like that. Oh, that's so great. Hopefully, we can do some screenings uh, in other yeah, areas of the planet. And it'll eventually be out on first. Eventually, that's where it's going to be out on first. Yeah, yeah but we're taking the, the 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 problem is, it's too damn good mm. as a documentary. I'm very proud it's, of it. I like to say it's better than us. It is. Like it's, it seems better than. Rooster what does Teeth. that mean? Okay. It has no business being as compelling as it is. Mm -hmm. As the person who is the main subject of mm -hmm. the documentary, I'm like, wow, they really made me seem interesting. <laughs> I am not. This interesting. is not the effect my no. life uh, like, experience is. The power of editing. I was like, wow, I really <laughs> bombed there, and then I'm like, wow, I really did well there, and I'm like, wow, <laughs> editing is a great tool. If it's I could just do that IRL, that would be amazing. What a laugh track added Dude. to anything can. It's really great. Had that exact feeling while watching. Uh, Hardcore tabletop. Oh, really? I mean, like, because, I mean, hardcore table, it, it's just Monopoly, you know what I mean? Yeah. But then, like, you know, obviously it's got the twists of, like, you know, all the real money and everything. Mm -hmm. But, like, when you watch the editing and everything put together with the interviews and yeah. all that stuff, it's like, 
really compelling, you know, like, it's, well, it's really you, nuts. I just remember eating through most of my interviews. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's, just, a, there's a lot of uh, hero shots of you eating. And it was just tortillas, too, because I think we were out of the inside. Yeah, the tacos it. were gone, and so Ryan was just eating tortillas in all of his hero shots. <laughs> yeah, that show came out. As as good as I dreamed it would. Yeah, it, it really phenomenal. is. It really is crushing it. And um, they, I think they told me they actually have a clip today. Another oh really uh, tabletop clip because episode three is coming out. Uh, episode three is already out. So all right, well then there you go. So this is probably a clip from episode four, or maybe it's an episode three clip. What are you doing you with your arm it? there? I was gonna go like so go. <laughs> early on in the game, I uh, I hid a lot of money underneath this in the hopes that people would just assume I was out of money. They did, then I revealed I had some more money. Of course, that was a bad time because I was losing a lot of money. <laughs> but it worked momentarily. Matt's an idiot. Matt thought he was uh, squirreling away some sort of amount of uh, money uh, that nobody else would know about. But uh, we're all at the same table, and we all have eyes. OK. Doesn't, I didn't really affect us in any way. I, I'm not sure what Matt was thinking with that. But hey, good, good, good attempt, Matt. That, that Matt reveal, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we can ex what we can expect from Matt, and we're gonna see what else he pulls out later in the game. What the rest of the room doesn't realize is that Matt's secret stash was an extra $500 that Jeff accidentally gave him at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Matt Bragg. Yeah, he's very devious and crafty. I don't like him. So you, I, wait, wait, you wait, just wait, discovered wait, this. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's new to me. What? I didn't know that. Wait, Back on an extra wait, five hundred. What? How's that possible? Is are that we, true? That no. That's are we, are we serious? Is that? That's in the cool episode. Yeah. Well, is it, it true? Yeah, it's true. true. That sounds like cheating. <laughs> that that's cheating. That sounds yeah. like cheating. We ran the whole thing. <laughs> I didn't know I did that. Yeah. I didn't mean to. Well, we got to do it over. There has to be rules. Take it all there down. Has to be lost. Is that real? You had an extra five hundred. Nobody told me. Nobody well, said I did it. I mean, Matt certainly wouldn't have told you. That's no little thing. Five hundred goes a long That's way. A Monopoly. Scandalous. Scandalous. <laughs> I like I'm how, upset! I like how out of all the people who are upset about this, you are the most I'm upset. I'm the angriest! And it is your fault <laughs> that this happens. But we, above all, we must protect the integrity of the show! The banker went like, <laughs> he gave out a clip of $100 bills and went, eh, that's probably right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone count that? Five Let's move on, who cares? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Sure, it doesn't I like out. that he discovered it in the clip. Like, at no point has anyone addressed you. Right. Nobody's just, told me until this moment! That, None of us knew! <laughs> We've been bamboozled. We were told that in interviews, and they had brought that up. All of us went, what? Yeah. We're like, what the fuck? I feel like I've been robbed of my integrity. <laughs> Who can trust? No one can but trust anyone How anymore. much was he trying to pay you? you know, At least $500. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 400 to get the extra buy. I, don't I know. feel so stupid. And I mean, you know it what happened? Great trailer. He, uh, he hit it too fast. You probably looked at it, he hit it under the thing, you looked at it and went, I guess He I might have had that plan right off the bat, yeah. Mm, he bamboozled you, is what happened. It was so I mean, yeah, saw everyone's fault. reaction to it, though. Uh, like, I remember Matt going, Oh, well, I've got an extra 500, and everyone's like, Okay. <laughs> 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 it's like, yeah, you yeah, only, you only like, took it out because you needed to use it. He's like, time to reveal my plan this whole time. I've had 500. Like, if he had busted it out during, like, an auction or something. Yeah. Oh, or yeah, something, great. He was like, oh, was like, I can afford it. Yeah, Oosh. it was literally, he had, like, no money at all. He's like, I've been stowing away 500. It's like, okay, you need that money. You thought I was poor. <laughs> that buys you and five more minutes. Now I actually am. am. Well, I'll say this. If Matt Bragg wins Hardcore Monopoly, I'm going to feel like a real piece of shit. Yeah. I want, dude, I want to talk about so much stuff with that show that happened along the way, and I just, re like, I really don't I have to watch every yet. episode to know, like, where we're at and what I can and can't talk about. I mean, it's the same thing with Achievement Haunter. Like, all I'm going to want to do is talk about Achievement oh, yeah. Haunter and what's going on. Dude, and... I, I love it. You guys come back, you guys talk about the huntings. It's it's fucking Hunting. great. I get to be, it's nice, because it, I'm safe and warm. You guys tell me I was the real do's warm. and don'ts and what yeah. happened, and yeah. I was like... Dude, I left. I, I bring no juju with. I don't me. think I've ever had clothes that smelled as bad as the ones that I was in after, like the actual hunt 
portion mm-hmm. of the of the. What were you like dredging swamps? Like what were you guys I, doing? It was just the place was old and awful, uh, and I was sweating my ass off. Got old people swamp smell. Ass. Old yeah, smell. and I like yeah. I have it better than. It, most because I just wear the tank top under the yeah. vest, right? Which is brilliant until winter hits, and like um, you're allowed days. to add clothes if you so choose. No, fuck that. No, that's my look. <laughs> and um, nobody's regulating this. You can do whatever you I'm want. I'm regulating. It's it. your body. But like you know, I drove back to the hotel after the haunt because I I drove to the site. It was like a five and a half hour drive, and so I drove there rather than fly. I just I was like, ah, this is a better idea, and it ended up being a better idea. But like, got back to the hotel, so it's like two a.m. now, like two three a.m. Um, like awful smelling and everything. And I'm like, all right, I gotta take a shower. And for some reason, apparently it was just like my room. There was no hot water, like none. Yeah. Um. So I was just like, you know, I was kind of warm in there. I guess I'll just take a cold shower. So I got in the shower, and it was like frigid. So my plan was to make it colder. Because then when I turned it up to base cold, it felt better because now I knew what real cold was. <laughs> <laughs> so I was in the shower and, the, and then I turned it down more. So I was like, oh, and like turned it back up. And I was like, like oh, oh, this is nice. nice. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's toasty. This is no offense to you guys. But if I were in a situation where we were all filming something mm. together and there was no hot water in my hotel room, I would immediately blame one of you. I would think you <laughs> oh, were fucking right. Yeah. I would Except like, he was the first one back. Not yeah. fair. But I think, but you guys are smart. You're deep. Oh, we, we that oh, would yeah. be the kind of shit that you oh, said yeah. a PA before. You like cut the cut his brake lines mm-hmm. and the <laughs> the hot water line. I was like, see I want one you hits first. to go back to the hotel, and I want you to just turn every faucet on full hot. Yeah, an hour get it all before done. we wrap. Get yeah. it all done. Get I should have just well, that's, that's nuts messed up. So screwing everyone over in the hotel. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, everyone's yeah. screwed. No, no, no. <laughs> including myself. Yeah, I stayed in the same hotel. But the best jokes are like the ones we have to sacrifice for. I figure he'll give up, and then the hot water will come back. It'll be fine. I should have called him Daniel. I'm working on this shoot. You get me hot water. I should have gone Jeremy Clarkson. On. Yeah, you, you definitely. I uh, I don't want to spoil too much of that show uh, or that episode, but uh, I was visited by a, a demonic level of farting. Oh yeah, yeah you, you were. totally I snatched know that what from Michael happened that you. night. You were you had gas. It was I had such gas. You were gas. It was the heat. And the, did the, you eat something that expanded in your stomach? Dude, you we had a great fucking meal. We ate at uh this. Foxy's. Fox, Foxes. Is it Foxy's pizza Foxy's or Foxes? Foxes Pizza. Foxes pizza. Foxes pizza. If you're ever in the middle of fucking nowhere, Louisiana, and apparently it's a chain, so there's a few of them. Uh, go go on down to Fox's Pizza Den and get the cheese sticks. Get the said. cheese sticks or cheese sticks were good. I was not there. I just remember. No, okay, his, I had the I had the I had the, it was like a steakhouse. You had it the was, like was, the Philly cheese steak. It was pizza. a Philly cheese steak oh, pizza. Jesus However, Christ, that no, sounds good. Well, it was good. It was well as right. as on the menu though. It was uh, it was steak. Uh, green pepper, onion, and mushrooms. Good. But okay. then they were like, and they're really excited about this. And we get rid of the sauce and we use ranch instead. Ooh, I was like, for the pizza sauce? Yeah. yeah. No, Ryan was not having it. Yeah, I wouldn't well, have that either. Ryan you went said, too far. You went too far. Now, Ryan back. said, I'll take that pizza with marinara. Yeah. <laughs> like, I will say this though. When you she was like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> on paper, a buffalo chicken pizza mm-hmm. sounds like a lot. Like Ooh. you got you got the, you okay, got the buffalo chicken true. in this, like the, the hot sauce. Like the buffalo mm-hmm. wing sauce, but then you also take out the marinara and you put the, the buffalo wing sauce. Which in makes that. sense a little that bit. Makes sense. But it sounds That's... like it's going to be overpowering, but done in the right ratio, it's pretty good. So I'm I'll saying give you, you that. may have sold yourself short. I'll give you that. If it was a light ranch. I would never Real put light. ranch on a cheesesteak. There's nothing light about it. I, 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 I would dip pizza in ranch. I do dip pizza in ranch. You dip a cheesesteak in ranch? I dip it No, pizza. Pizza. Well, no, that, yes, but you're saying it was like a cheesesteak pizza. It was a cheesesteak pizza. Right, and like for me, that's not like a ranch. Not that there's any sauce I'd really use. It's bread. That's like a Shyamalan twist, man. That's crazy. Now I kind of wish I tried it now. Touch just a little bit. My hands. Oh, my hands are shaking. I touched a bourbon. My hands. Bacon jam. Osmosis. He loves this. He walked in the room the other day. We were talking about going to a bar or something. Like he had to, he had to go to a bar to like meet up with someone and like just have a meeting with them, whatever. Uh, and he was like, "Yeah, I gotta go to a bar uh, after this or whatever." And we were like, "Oh yeah, you're going to a bar?" He's like, "Oh yeah, yeah I started drinking again." And like you know, just playing around. And everyone in the office was like. Oh, and I went, <laughs> yes! They were like, <laughs> they were like fucking Jeremy, dude. You're the worst. I know. The worst. And then he goes, wait, oh, you're joking. <laughs> oh, okay. How, hard, how like, crestfallen were you when you figured out that he was no, joking? No, I knew, that, I knew okay. he was joking, but okay. I was like, like, I, like, because I, I went, oh, yes! 
I feel like you have like a necklace made out of just like broken AA chips. Oh, it was so that. fucking funny because Jeremy goes, his face is so great. He looks, he goes, he goes, he takes half off. He goes, you you drinking again? And I go, I'm not. By the way, I'm not drinking. Uh, I <laughs> and I go, yeah, sure. Why, why not? I was joking around. And he goes, Jeff, no. Yes! <laughs> I was like, Jesus, God, I was kidding, calm down. Don't get so through, excited. I had to go through all the circuits first, and it was like, yeah. that's sad, sad, <laughs> but really fun for me. There it is. The Boy, errors yeah. of drunk Jeff and drunk Jeremy never really collided. Mm. Like, the, the the Jeff drinking thing, like, went down as, as the Jeremy one ascended. <laughs> yeah. I say, I discovered, though, in this part of that process of going back to Louisiana for a second there, you were super into, like, places that look like they'll kill you or give you hepatitis from the outside. As in, like, to eat or drink. Like, that Fox's Pizza Dead thing, it was a converted house. It didn't look great when I drove by it. It looked like it was, if they had taken the sign down, it would have been condemned. Looked charming. It had character. I mean, once you got inside, like the inside was was very nice. Good ass pizza clean. too. On the outside, they had like a bunch of those shitty Venetian blinds, oh, and they were yeah. all like missing things yeah, and broken, nice. and all the paint like the chipped. There's also setting to eat uh, for ghost hunting. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, like on my drive there, um, dude, I passed like ten really fucked up looking crawfish shacks. Or oh yeah, like that it's been just good too. everywhere. That would have been good too, though. I bet. But that's the thing. Like awesome. we, we went past a bar, and it, it, Jeff was like, "Ah, oh, I wish I drank to go to that place." And it was just like it looked like a, a, a fucked up trailer, <laughs> and he, there was this lady outside <laughs> digging around in her car, and she had like. <laughs> She was a bigger lady and had like ass crack sticking out. And she was like, "Oh, I bet, she, I bet she's the bartender. She, God, she's gonna have a great story." I Just love the crest of the moon. Though. <laughs> Correction, I used to love dive bars. <laughs> I can't go to them now because they smell fucking horrible. You don't yeah. notice when you're drunk. No, when you're sober. There's no worse smell. You know what it is? It's that it's that smell that's stale liquor and whatever cleaning solution uh-huh. they use, and it's just not. And a hint yeah. of vomit. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and a lot just of parties. A little, little touch. A little Di- smack you of can, vomit. You can get away at not drinking at like at, at pubs and like craft breweries and like micro pubs and fancy shit. You can't get away with not drinking at a at a dive bar. Mm. Mostly because it's an insult to, to the people who are like yeah. alcoholics that are. And also they're right. like, all right, well, what are you gonna drink? We don't we don't have well, you want mixers? Yeah. And they always go, you go, can I get a Diet Coke? And they, they, they just give you a look like, mm-hmm. why yeah, are you here? Shotgun. Yeah. There's and a McDonald's like, across yeah, the street. Yeah, what's the care? Go be a kid somewhere else. Dude, yeah. I did drive work. by a town. I came this fucking close to pulling over in that town on the drive there. Uh, there's a town called Turtle Bayou. Ooh. And they were like, take this exit for Turtle Bayou and mm-hmm. visit visit the alligator ranch. Oh, <laughs> and I was like, yes. if I can go to an alligator ranch in Turtle Bayou, it would be the greatest thing ever. That sounds like, like a great I day. saw the sign and then like, like they gave you a sign that like, Turtle Beach, oh, uh, Turtle Beach, Turtle Bayou, and like the next exit. And I was like, ooh, and then like 20 feet later was the exit. Gone. And I'm like in the left lane. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> but like, that drive was awesome because uh, the drive there was 10 times better than the drive back, which I feel like is the case with most drives but like the drive there the last like two hours of the drive were on these roads in the middle of nowhere it was just through the woods straight road totally flat and i would say for the last maybe hour or so i saw like five cars on that and it was just nothing it is not like there this is fucking awesome i loved it uh, the drive back was miserable. <laughs> it was just like a normal highways, traffic, people Ooh, not knowing what that is. It wasn't as miserable as my trip back. No, your trip back sounded awful. What happened to your trip back? Did they? Did you do the standard Jeff thing where you sandwiched four other trips in that trip back? No, oh, I kind of. I I was. No, you did the Jeff I, thing where life just kicks him in the anus just repeatedly. Punch me in the dick. Yeah. I so I need to get needed to be back because Millie. I needed to pick her up from school at four. Mm-hmm. And the plane landed at 3.45. How do we get, yeah, here, I'm going to solve this problem. How do we get Millie out of school? Well, she's smart. <laughs> <laughs> she's, I know, right? She's really she's smart, done. I talked to her. She's a smart kid. She's, she's done. Yeah, an she's, ace and siege. Like, she's she's ready to go pro. It's it's true. True. She, she is part of the ace club. club. Except that time she had to ask Jack for the answer to a math question because Jeff wasn't fully sure. Okay, that's <laughs> like, and it was, it was, yeah. Dude, that's what Google's for, okay? Yeah. That's how people all figured out. I helped her with science homework last night. I wasn't too dumb. 
Yeah? What yeah. was it about? What kind of science? I don't know. It was about experiments and helicopters and shit. I mean, for like, reference, the math question was multiplying. You know, helicopters? You know, <laughs> science, 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 science class. It's about, like, it's about experiments, it helicopters, and so on and so forth. It's about, like, dependent and independent variables I didn't ask if you wanted that, but you're getting it. That's, um, that's too much. Anyway. Uh, no, no. The variables. The I, had it, no, I'm okay. I had it worked out where I could pick her up from school. Right after, like, I got off the plane. If I had teeth. hauled yeah. ass, I could pick her up for school by by school from school by the skin of her teeth, which I desperately wanted to do because I I um, have been traveling, so I haven't been able to spend as much time with her as I'd like to. I mean, I want to spend every second of my day with her, uh, but yeah. So I uh, then our plane was delayed for forty minutes. And it's a shitty minutes, kind of delay minutes, where because... we had like ten minutes between landing and boarding. Oh, and we got we got to the stressful. plane. They were low they were boarding the plane like five minutes before they said they were going to. Right. Yeah. So we didn't America have time to get lunch or anything. Yeah, just... And they put us on the plane that made us sit there for yeah about forty five an hour. I shit you not. There was no problem, but the mechanics didn't sign off on the logbook. Mm -hmm. And they had to physically come back and just sign the logbook, mm -hmm. but they were too busy. So we sat there for over 30 minutes waiting for some guy just to come in and initial a fucking logbook. And they're like, yeah, we'll make it up in the air. But they didn't. Uh, so Which, we, I don't know about you, but my, like, it was one of the planes that have in seat entertainment. And I was like, well, it's a short flight, so it never, it's not going to work. I mean, they were, but it was delayed, but mine didn't work. Oh, really? So I hit the button to try and get the, the you know, one of the attendants to reset it. They never came. Are you serious? Yeah, for oh, that thing was sitting there flashing for half an hour. Oh man, I got I got That's a little brutal. I got a little annoyed with it because United does the thing now where you have to have your phone, mm -hmm. which I actually don't dislike until it doesn't. I, I love everything until it doesn't work. Right. And for whatever reason, I've taken so many United flights that I've seen almost every movie. And this is me prefacing this like I didn't choose to watch this movie because I like the series. I'm like, oh, I haven't seen. The completionist. Yeah, I was like, oh, this is the only movie I haven't watched. I'm trying desperately for like 15 minutes to get the last Maze Runner movie, to play. <laughs> and I'm getting hot. I'm like, why is this not playing? And the girl next to me is like, what are you trying to watch? And I'm like, it's the only one I haven't seen yet. I swear to God, it's not. I would normally watch. It was sad. It was I, saw, I saw it. I saw it. To watch I saw it in oh my God, it was pathetic. I didn't even. Series. Oh, it's not bad. I like. I mean, it, it definitely declined with each movie. The but first one was the first good. The one, one I was one, like, like hey, put it back in the maze. I'm like, put it back in the maze. What's here? Like, what's cool concept? It's going down. I like but, it. But, but, yeah, oh, so yeah, sure. yeah. So, 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 there. so we end up landing 4:15 or so, and at that point, I had already called or texted Griffin and asked her to pick Millie up from school, which is fine because we have a great co-parenting relationship, but not not ideal. Not not ideal. Yeah. Not ideal. Uh, not, you, not, you don't want to beg a lot of favors it, it, from your ex in that way. Like, I mean, she's, she's very cool about it, very understanding about it, and she was great about it. She's actually dealing with Millie today because uh, I'm still dealing with getting home. Uh, and uh, so land, haul ass to my car, um, and uh, I in the back of my head I'm worried because my tire was a little low. Oh, no. I have a slow leak in my, my driver's side front tire. No. My tire was a little low when I parked. And the day before, I had filled it up with air, and so I, I was like, oh, "I wonder if the leak's getting worse." But we were—it wasn't too bad, and we we it had just been aired out or filled up, and uh, we had only been gone for three days. And so I get to my car at the parking lot, and my tire's flat—not a hundred percent flat. Like I can still drive on it. There's a little bit of air, like maybe ten psi or something. And uh, so I very gingerly drive it to the gas station, and when I get there, the air machine's out. It's like fuck. And I look, and it's lower, but it's still not like dead ass flat. I do have a spare, okay. um, but I can see the next gas station. Right. And I don't want to sound like an asshole. I don't want to change any tires. I've changed enough tires man. in my life, dude. I'm you're a grown 40s. ass man. You I'm a grown ass man. I don't want to change a fucking tire. I appreciate that. So, uh, <laughs> I like it to prove my wife that I'm a man. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah I, I, I can do it. You're like I did a man thing today. I don't have that. I know. I get that. So, so I'm like, fuck it. I very gingerly drive to the next gas station, get there. The tire's blown. It's, it's oh, I, I drove on it too much. I ripped, it, it, I ripped it to shreds. Uh, uh, to be determined. Okay. And so uh, I'm like, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Well, I guess I'll I'll change it. Mm -hmm. So I, my back, the back of my car, is my, like, you know how everybody has like a junk drawer or like a dirty room in their house oh, and just shove everything trunk. in? My trunk of my car is, my, my life is spotless except for the trunk of my car. Mm -hmm. That's where like, every time I go to pick up Millie, Griffin's like, here's a box of your shit. And I, it just, all just goes in the back of the car. Mm -hmm. So I have like half of everything I own in the back of my car. So I have to pull everything out for like 15 minutes. And it's, it's Texas, so it's 186 mm -hmm. degrees. Not right, 187, yeah. 186. And, uh, and then I pull out the spare 
and I get the tools and everything, and I go, and then I realize, oh, I have my Audi requires a special tool to get the lug nuts off. Yeah, it's got so the I lock nut. So I scour the car to find the lock nut. <clears throat> I can't find it. I look in the owner's manual. It references it. Doesn't tell you where it is in the car. I'm like, okay. I was like, fuck, I really need to get home and get my kid, and I got shit to do. So I was like, I'll just, I gotta get the tire fixed anyway, I'll just tow it to Audi. So I call, I yelp a bunch of tow trucks, I call the first one, and they're like, yeah, it's gonna be like three or four hours, we're busy. I'm like, all right. I go through eight tow truck companies, I can't, nobody can come in faster than two and a half hours. And it's like six, or at this point it's like five, five, five o'clock, four forty-five, five o'clock, it's the hottest part of the day, I'm by the airport, everybody looks at me like I'm an idiot. And I'm like, all right, well, I'll call Audi. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know what to do. Do you guys have a tow truck service? Could you recommend anybody? And they're like, Audi's essentially like, uh, hey, go fuck yourself. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you already bought I, the car. I was still really great about yeah, Audi yeah. at the moment. And they're like, yeah, we don't, we're not incented to help you in any way whatsoever, sir. So just take your car and just drive it up your own asshole, mm -hmm. which is what Audi said. Yeah. And uh, but thanks, Audi, so by the way. Yeah. Thanks did, a lot. Did, so did they, they at least say that politely or just up like? Yeah. Looks like? Looks like someone's getting a BMW next time. Yeah. Audi, <laughs> drive it up your ass. <laughs> so I replaced the BMW with the Audi. That's what the logo is, right? Just a bunch of assholes. Just a bunch of assholes all linked together. Pick one and drive it up this thing. So... I look back and I had already put everything back in my fucking car in the back of the car and I like I'm, like I'm I'm fuck I'll just do one more search for the goddamn right? like lug nut key. Do you have a little pouch? I had a pouch. It wasn't in the. It pouch. wasn't in the pouch. So I don't know what I, I'm just desperate and at this point I just I just want to see my kid. I just want to see my kid and I want to stop sweating because it's a thousand degrees outside. So fuck it. I take every all of my purchases out and by the way in the process of doing this I'm like. This is not going back in, so I'm just throwing shit in a trash can. Oh, it's always, always, yeah, always needed. Yeah, at the that. gas station. With a lot of stuff that I'm like, I really, fuck it, I don't care. I don't I, just, I don't have time. And so I throw about half of it away. So somewhere in, near the Austin airport is a trash can full of your well, like With like a mixer and like all kinds of like kitchen supplies and stuff that I just... You got like, rid of a mixer? I did, I did. I got rid of a mixer. Um, I was just mad at the world. I smashed my hand up, pulling shit out, and mm -hmm. cut my hand. I was yeah. bleeding everywhere. Man stuff. And uh, I get it all apart again, and then I start looking, and I find the goddamn thing. It's just in a side, like, netting pouch in an unassuming black plastic bag. Mm. I'm like, what is this plastic bag? I open it up, I'm like, there's the fucking key. It's nowhere near the rest of the equipment or the yeah. tools. I don't know how it got in that bag. And I'm like, motherfucker. <sighs> so I go over. And I take the tire off, jack the car up, the table, take, uh, uh, loosen it, jack it up, take the tire off, put the spare on, put it back together, drop it, just start putting everything back in, load the trunk back in, or everything back into the trunk, the whole thing. At this point, I'm like, Ugh. I look like I've, I look like I've been working on cars for 47 years, you know, and all I've done is touch a tire. Or hunting ghosts and, uh, in Louisiana. Or, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I go back over to the car, and I look at the tire, it's flat. The spare's flat. The spare's flat? Oh, but you could probably fill that up. So I fill it up, okay. and it holds air. Yeah. So I drive off, and then I look, and I am on zero miles, uh, zero gas. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in As stop and go that. traffic. Right. How, long, so how then, long after you left the gas station did that occur to you? Uh, like uh, three minutes. Okay. Too far to go back yeah. to that one. So I have to, like, I'm just like, make it another 100 feet, make it another 100 feet, trying to find the next gas station. Find one, pull off. Put gas in it. Whew. Finally, catch the rest of rush hour. I we landed at four fifteen or whatever. I got home at seven. Ugh. That's brutal. That's horrific. After See. after three days of nonstop filming and being up, you know, sleeping like four hours and being up shooting because you know these shoots are like twelve hours long. Right. And like, yeah. Just long. purely exhausted. And then all that rigmarole, and then I had to get up this morning and take my car into Audi at like six forty-five. Was the only time they would see me. So now I don't have a car, and I'm waiting. I, they haven't oh, called me back. That. That's um, so now I'm, I'm, my, I'm just Ubering. I'm going to Uber to pick Millie up later, and then Uber home, I guess, because I don't know what the fuck else I'm going to do. Because uh, Audi's too busy lubing the car up so they can shove it up your ass. Yeah, right. yeah. At least like, make sure, we like this client a lot. Make sure you put <laughs> extra lube on this. So right. Yeah. Yeah. If it doesn't touch colon, you didn't do it right. You didn't do it right. And next time, really hide that key. Yeah, so I have, you can't find it. I have, I have a very old car. I have a 12 year old Honda Accord that I've been driving. I just refuse to let go because in San Francisco, <laughs> unlike here, we don't have parking so mm -hmm. you have to sandwich your car in between other cars whenever yes. you park and yeah. they do that same thing to you it's basically a fuck you fuck me kind of thing uh so my car just is, has been destroyed over the years but i just refuse to let it go and it's got almost a hundred thousand miles on it right now which is actually not bad for a 12 year old car but the other day like every month i'm like what's it going to be this month mm -hmm. what's it going to be and i was like I, t I like to do what like 
I like to service the car myself when I can, just small stuff to make me feel good about it, like I'm taking care of it, and, you know. And I'm, I was like cleaning off the headlamps to get the fog out of it because I was like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for myself. It's gonna be cool. It's fun. It's the sun. I'm a man. And I looked down, like my foot slipped, and I was like, that's weird. Did I spill something? Looked down, oil all over the ground. <gasps> no idea why. <laughs> <laughs> looked down. I'm like, did I change? That? I'm like, am I messing with it? Looked down. It's just this, there's been like there's like three or four puddles of oil where I park my car. And I'm like. How long has this car been draining oil for? And not just one, but like multiple places. When I, I, I can tell, I have parked it it's over like the last week. Yeah. It's been boom, boom, boom. And I get down there, and I, I kind of feel bad. And the whole oil pan is just caked with oil. And I'm Ooh. like, this is not going to be cheap. That's awful. This is not yeah. going to be cheap. And I took it into the place I usually get it serviced, and they were like, Yeah, um, you're. Remember the last time when we changed your oil, and we told you that someone uh, stripped the bolt, and we had to put a bigger bolt in it. And I was like, yeah. And they're like, remember how we told you that you should probably change the oil pan out, or else it's going to leak everywhere, your engine's going to explode. I was like, yeah. They're like, we're at that point. <laughs> <laughs> we're at Wait that minute, point. But that was their fault. No. Well, who knows? This is the problem with these these places, right? The guy calls me. He's like, hey, just so you know, whoever tightened it last time stripped it. And I was like, all right. How do I prove that you guys didn't do that? But he's like, look, it's a simple, it's a $10 fix. We're going to get you a bigger bolt. But just know that the, the bigger bolt, it, they have a self-threading bolt that you put in there, mm -hmm. but it doesn't last more than two times you take it out of it. And so I had to replace That's it. That's not a time. fix. That is a, it's a temporary fix. Yeah. But for a 12-year-old car, that is what I'm dealing that's with. All that, yeah. That's, that's all, all that exists do. for a 12-year-old yeah. car. Just just, yeah. I have had so many things go wrong with that to the point. But I'm like, I'm, I'm in that weird spot where I'm like, I don't want to buy another car because I don't mm. want it to get destroyed yeah. in front of me again. I can only take that one time. Now I've got like the Mad Max mobile. I, mean, I don't give a shit what happens to <laughs> I, the, Dude, that's the best situation to be in. I love cars like that. Like I take care of it, don't get me wrong. Like, you just bought a Mustang. Car. No, I mean now I did, but my old car, my Dodge Intrepid, dude, I loved that thing. It's, it's just, just, it's just yeah. one less thing it's to care about. such a piece of shit. The lights would flash when you would drive. When you turned right, the mm -hmm. interior lights flashed. Oh, mine's like, like sure. Yeah, yeah. and then like, you hit a fucking a, rave every time you turn right. <laughs> Anytime you turn right, those would start going short for some reason. System. Uh, the locks were really like you know cars usually automatically lock when you get over a certain mm -hmm. speed. The doors go. They were like insanely loud for some reason. So you get up to a certain speed, and the car would go. And that was the doors locking. <laughs> I'm like, sweet. Your fucking spaceship. Like, that's locking. Um, you know, I, my friends used to just ram it. Like, I would, I, would just, I would like park somewhere yeah. and then I'd feel like because <laughs> they'd come up behind me I and love like that in the gym. car and just, I always did that in high the school. bumper's all fucked up, the door's all dense in it. I just loved it, dude. It was such a good car. That was the best. High school beater cars are the best. They're awesome. Yeah. yeah. They're badass. I had an 88 Honda hatchback for my high school car and it was a four speed and I think it must have had, I think it had less than 100 horsepower in it. It was <laughs> the worst car and I don't know why I picked it. It was ugly as shit. It was sky blue. And it was the ugliest car ever, and I just wanted a car so badly that my parents were like, "Do you want this one?" I'm like, "Yes, give me." <laughs> just, I'll take it didn't give me away. It was the worst. And yeah, we used to do that same thing. We're like, it was just the funniest thing. If someone was, if you saw your friend ahead of you, you're like, "I got it." Gotta give him a little bump. I gotta do something. Rubbin's yeah. racing, you know what I mean? Just yeah. Tap a little Throw bit. Throw something in his car. Maybe give him a little whiplash. Just a little touch with. How yeah. long is a statute of limitations typically? Uh, For what? Depends For murder? on what you're no. about to say. Yeah. 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 This is like vehicle transgressions. Oh, uh, seven years probably. I would imagine. Uh, in California, though, I don't know about Texas. To be fair, I've never committed a crime in okay. Texas, and I don't intend to. Yeah, good call. Did are we talking like federal or state law? Uh, I'm just, I'm not gonna finish. I'm not gonna tell the story. Okay, uh, you <laughs> know what? Good call. That's, that's, that's where we yeah. lost that's amongst good. all the other stories. Two of, years. I don't uh, trust that. Uh, yeah. I do two not trust. No, that's no, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. That's way too conservative. Yeah. I don't believe you. That's what the internet said. That's yeah, yeah, like we believe the internet. Yeah. Just because you guys have a cool sign above your broadcast like, uh, control room doesn't mean you're the world. Really the world is too joke. PC for for. I'll just I just. Pee. I want to hear it though. But no, don't say it. I don't want too you to go to jail. See, you what already had a lot of bad luck. Let's let the karma just yeah. come right yeah. over. Just get in trouble. A yeah, people just, people just shit. be like, I can't believe Jeff did that. People kind of got hurt or whatever. You do stupid shit when you're young. Yeah, you do. Everyone yes. did. Everybody. Everyone's dead. I'll never forget the time I was. Uh, we were doing like a caravan up up from uh, from Southern California up to Santa Cruz because one of us was like trying to go to college up there. So we're like, well, I'll get in the car together and go. And we thought it was a good idea. To try to communicate this is before our cell phones, we wanted to communicate back and forth by yelling to each other. But for mm -hmm. some, some reason, we're going like we're on the highway, maybe like 70, 80 miles an hour. And for whatever reason, I thought it would be really funny to pop up my buddy's sunroof. But he didn't have a sunroof that that came back on a mechanism. He had one of those sunroofs that goes you unlatch, unlatch, 
And then by the time you've realized what you've done, it catches the wind and rips off the car. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And hits the other car's windshield, almost oh. causing like a pileup. So maybe theoretically some shit like that has happened to me in my mm. life. Yeah. Theoretically speaking. Uh we we hit my friend in the tooth with a Jolly Rancher going on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what? good. Aim. We were trying to. We were driving next to him on the highway, they and we used to kind of race home from Boston. Uh, and so we're kind of like so racing down the highway a little bit, and he's next to me in this big Jeep. Uh, my buddy Kenny, and like so, I'm in the car. With Kenny's my, the perfect name for this story, right? Kenny is. Like, he's you could big, not have made he's that. He's this big that. giant dude with the mentality of like a four year old. I love him. Perfect. And um, Kenny had some mental. So issues. I'm like in the car. I got my other friend with me, and we're <laughs> we're driving down, and Kenny comes up next to us. And my, we had just had this bag of Jolly Ranchers in the car. Mm. And so my it's friend like in the missile. car is like holding them up and Kenny sees them and we have our windows down and he's going, one. Jolly Rancher! Yeah. Like shouting it at us. Yeah, and uh, so my <laughs> friend grabs a Jolly Rancher and he's like, I can hear him. Like, I, I can see the calculations behind his head. He's like, I'm going to aim like five feet in front of the you car. Lead it. The wind's going to catch it. We gotta go. Corey, so back. Kenny's driving like this. <laughs> and my friend... Hooks the Jolly Rancher, it goes out, comes in, and hits him in his front too. Oh my god. Like a full Jolly Rancher. So we see, he throws a Jolly Rancher, and then we just see his car peel back. <laughs> As he like hits the brakes. <laughs> Took a Jolly Rancher in the face. That is the best. That's perfect. There's never been a good situation that involved Jolly Ranchers. I no, it has. Because they're, they're not good for you. But oh. terrible. What is good for you is a home cooked meal. Uh, this episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Blue Apron. It's a great segue. Uh, Blue Apron is the best, especially if you want to learn how to cook or don't have time to go to the grocery store. With Blue Apron, you choose chef-designed recipes and they deliver fresh, seasonally inspired ingredients right to your door. I use Blue Apron. Um, it taught me how to cook a lot of different meals. They send you exactly enough and sometimes a little more for the meals that you need to make, like garlic. You're going to end up with a lot of extra garlic, which is perfect. Uh, I get to cook amazing meals without the stress of finding recipes or hunting down ingredients at the store. It's simple, efficient, and takes no time at all. Uh, there are some that take like 20 minutes to cook. It's it's really quick, and since the prep work's all done, it's like you just kind of follow the instructions. It's easy. Let Blue Apron do the meal prep for you, making back to school easier than ever. Their quick and easy recipe options are packed full of insanely delicious flavors, and they deliver perfectly portioned ingredients right to your door. Whether you're looking for quick and easy meals or a full culinary cooking experience, Blue Apron lets you choose from a range of recipes. They give you a bunch of different options for that week and you pick the ones that you want and it really ranges from stuff that you're comfortable with cooking to things you might need to get a little more experimental with and kind of learn new techniques, which is which is great. So check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free at blueapron.com slash off topic. That's blueapron.com slash off topic to get your first three meals for free. That's a great offer. Uh, and Blue Apron is off-topic approved. It is. Uh, a lot of us use Blue Apron. I use it. Michael uses it. It's just, it's great. So don't wait. Blue Apron is a better way to cook and get your first three meals free. Enjoy it. Learn how to cook. Ryan has a shotgun. There. I found Ooh. our shotgun. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh my god, yes. It's not loaded. Maybe. Uh, pull the trigger. At, point it at something expensive. The screen. Like that yeah, camera yeah, or yeah. that human being right there. Yeah. He looks like he's taking well good care of himself. <laughs> he turns around. Turning your back, Sarah, just makes it smaller. By the way, I'm, I was kind of saddened that a little while ago I was like, I just, I don't know, I was, yeah, the chair be. was kind of uncomfortable, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to stand, right? Uh -huh. And then, but it hit me that I'm the exact same height. Standing know, and as sitting, <laughs> I don't change height in any way. I like looked at the cameras and it's still perfectly. <laughs> oh, you're alive. standing now. Yeah. yeah, I'm standing. I've been standing the whole time. <laughs> this is the sitting height. This is the standing. Height. It's literally exactly the same. To be honest, you, you go down just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you do. You, just it's, a smidge. Yeah. As, as a person of smaller stature myself, I've never felt comfortable at a table like this. Even at my desk at work, it's always just a little too high, and yeah. I feel like a child sitting at the kids' table. Well, because your feet are like kicking. Like well, yeah, like, like, yeah. like you see how my, I can't quite hit the ground here, so yeah. I'm stressing yeah. out my, my hamstrings a little bit. Right, like, here, you know, I have also, to, like, sit forward if I want to touch it, like, I have to sit on the edge. Like, if I, like, just sit on the chair, I just don't even come close. Like, you don't feel, you don't want to, like, you don't feel authoritative when you're like this. When you know, like, when you're, all. like, yes, right. I, I can exactly never feel mean. confident like this. Like also, well, watch if you guys notice it's down, though, because, like, at this situation, if I want to put my arms at the table in, like, Kind of yeah, but look. I like, have to like sit up, sit my up. back does this. Sit up real quick. Oh yeah. Look how much oh, yeah. respect I wanted to wait till after the right right to me. 
I look like your younger brother who you have to take places. And then when I stand up, it's... Oh, Jesus, you're beautiful. That's... Also, not sure if you guys Just noticed Just wait until last call when everyone's standing. We'll look great. Have you guys noticed that literally everything sticks to this table? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah. a thing? You can actually, like, if you really get down on there, it'll, it'll seal. Interesting. Yeah, like yeah. getting certain glasses and things off the... It's it's usually the glassware. Mm -hmm. has a really hard time coming off of the When you When y'all had this made, was the inspiration Jurassic Park? A little bit. Cool. The inspiration mm -hmm. was Marcus's... Yeah. Brain. I like love he it. Just kind of was. He That's saw it in, in, awesome in the bit. shards of the old table. He saw this. It's stunning. All the pieces of true story. This is the one I shot Gavin in the eye with. Oh, is that the one you all like, oh. You shot go. Oh, I can't see. Well, that he, was... he came in and, and and had it and threw it at me with his hand. Yeah, he did. <laughs> well, he was mad. He was, he was not happy. I bet, the, I bet yours would hurt a little bit more. He left the room and I shot it and it hit the door. And actually deflected off somehow and hit kind of near his eye. How? No one back. has gotten seriously injured. I've no one has been injured now. Like seriously, no it's beyond idea. me. It's insane. That was, me. I did it feel bad about that one. I actually texted. That's one of the few times I've texted Gavin where I was like, I'm sorry about that. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you this. It certainly that's certainly not what happened to Dirk. He he didn't get really hurt and quit. Right. Yeah. But that one we don't address fully. But like. Legally, <laughs> the, the case is still. Can we look up the statute of limitations on that? Yeah. Uh, let's just see if we can talk about that. I mean, I've bled in that office a lot. I don't doubt it. I cut my oh, hands shit. a fuck ton, like either on the the wheel, mm -hmm. which someone sent us a new one actually. Yeah. Oh, it's like plexiglass, like plexiglass and, and capable like, of you really unlock nice. it and open it. It's, got lock it's pretty cool. It's a little smaller though, but um, it'll be all right. Ooh. So the wheel, we've it's made out of metal mesh, and uh, I went ape shit on it with. Uh, a tomahawk one time, mm. and so the it's so like pieces of the mesh kind of split and then are, are not pointed in. Good. So you like oh, it's, it's like a raffle thing. So you you know mm -hmm. spin multiple it up. lacerations. And then That's usually the I reach in and try to mix mix them up again yeah. a little more, even though I've already spun it. But because the inside is just fragmented pieces of metal, uh, I do that, and then I take my hand out, and my fingers are all bleeding. Mm -hmm. One of the worst cuts I've had in the last couple of years came from that fucking thing. Yeah, that, that thing it cuts you up real good. And another time I was like. Under Gavin's desk, looking for something. Oh, there's a ton of. I think glass I was like cleaning. Yeah. So I was cleaning much. bouncy balls. That's what it was. Because so it's glass. back when we had the five thousand yeah. or whatever. And I was just like picking up bouncy balls, picking up bouncy balls, and like at one point I went like this and like kept picking them up. And I looked at my jeans and it was all red. And like I just looked at my hand and it was just covered in blood because mm -hmm. I had just been grabbing shards of glass like yeah. while I was getting the bouncy balls out. So Has it? Occurred to you guys mm -hmm. that there are services that can come in and potentially clean the room. They don't want to be don't, in there. They're afraid yeah. of us. Well, well, they're they're going to walk in and go, okay, what do you want us to do there? with the Doritos and what do we do with the yeah. dildo? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's keep both of those things. <laughs> it's like we but anything that has any substance that looks like uh, new blood or dried blood, <laughs> let's clear that out. Yeah. For and now. then there's I the actually, crickets. I was in here early this morning, so I had a uh, the crickets. There's a lot of crickets. Yeah, a lot of crickets. I had a pitch yeah. meeting. That's great like, for that's producing content. I had, stab them. I had a pitch meeting at 9 a.m. for something that I created for a pitch I created in January that I haven't looked at since. Mm -hmm. So I got in at like eight just to refamiliarize myself with the with the pitch, and uh, I just I was sitting there and I hadn't been in the office in days, and it was so disgusting. I was like, I gotta fucking clean. So I got up and I started cleaning. I cleaned for 30 minutes. And then I was like, all right, I've cleaned enough. I got to get back to, to studying this pitch so I can remember what the fuck I'm talking about. And I, I, I came back in to survey my work, and it looked worse mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. I was like, what's, what's the fucking point? And I texted Trevor, and I'm like, I just spent 30 minutes cleaning. Uh, not that you'll be able to tell, uh, but if you, you guys should really make an effort to clean the place today because it's just looking gross. And he goes, yeah, we cleaned for a couple hours yesterday. Not that you can tell. And I'm like, Ugh. It's like when you, it's like when your car is really dirty and you do like just the windshield. It just makes everything else look more dirty because you're like, well, there is one clean thing to compare yeah, it to sure. now. That was a terrible idea. It just gets to the point where I just make sure my desk is clean. I everything have. else is just a fucking mess. Oh, hey, I'm supposed to talk about the new Jeff stuff that comes out today. Today? Today's Friday? Today? Well, today will be Friday when this is live. Here's a shirt. Or it already It's happened. starting to get fallish. So here's a long sleeve shirt. It's really not. Nice. There's a skull. Some checkerboards on it. I'll put it on. You'll see what it looks oh, what, like. What's happened to the skull? So he lost an eye since the last. A, shirt. Uh, yeah, he's a he's a. He's been in the office. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he played. Oh right, ball. he played flinchless anything ball. That's why I brought this. That's what happened to the eye. <laughs> also, I didn't just find. I it don't in the snack. know that this shirt is my size. No, it's solid. It's you just got it like rolled up in the back. There you go. Hey, like this is a. I want that. Child's that. medium apparently. <laughs> Well, you're, you are you you are wearing a shirt underneath it. But That's I can't, not what's I can't it. see your nipples. 
right, so. I'm gonna begin the, the process of the long yeah, see, I don't, Cut away from him. You don't want to see uh, this. There it is. Cut or, or <laughs> just, yeah. just punch punch in. Or just show it. Shouldn't have filmed the barbecue show today. See, a show like that would be a 50-50 whether or not my nipple show. <laughs> And then there's a. Uh, on, let's see. No, we've got to. Yeah, you, uh, now you I talk this so up. I need to know what opacity of shirt shows your nipples. That's and true. Then, uh, it also uh, yeah. yes to. That's a selling point. We'll we'll find out if it's yeah. opaque enough. I'll tell you one thing right now. People, this yeah. is a real concern for people that it have, is, it is. that have pay, like like deeper nipples. It's and a then, medium. Jeff Ramsey first exclusive. Oh. Oh, that means. And then when you get like a cup of water, we throw it on them, see if they pop through. I'll pop through. Oh yeah. I think there's there's like another shirt and some other shit. You turn it around. You're hiding your shit. No, yeah, you gotta give them a shit. Happening. It's no, no, not, we're, you know, we're testing it's things like for science. Real thing going up. Oh, I understand. You, you're good at making content. <laughs> it's not the only thing coming out today, but that, I don't know what else is. Maybe. Ice cream shirt. Holy <laughs> shit, your nipples. I feel like something else. <laughs> Yo, hey, calm down. Let's see. All right. It looks like I'm good. There's a nah, shade. You're good. Yeah, yeah, you gotta check the paparazzi. This feels thicker. I have to actually like be looking for it. Yeah, I feel I get away with this shirt. Oh, oh wow! That was a direct hit. That was a great one. Oh, all right, that now I know I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Some people do. You gotta learn something. I don't. I mean, it's different right. if Jeff's doing it to you versus yeah. maybe and your see, significant other. Where is it? Oh my they're god, dark. that's a dark nipple. They're, no, they're dark. No, it's fine. Not bad. They're not no, bad. They're not bad. I'm not complaining. I gotta look out for. Okay. I thought they were gonna be like that paint that doesn't show light. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, like shit. a black hole? Yeah, which is yeah. <laughs> a good zoom in. But that's now, a good zoom in right there. That's great. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Pour it on. Let me see it again. Right. Nothing. But yeah, it's like, it's not super dark, but enough to the point where I do got to worry. I can't I can't go to, like, Express and get a white shirt. Just enjoy it, man. Why we, used to, we, used to play this, we used to play this game. I just remember. We used to play this. It's how I got so good at flicking. Yeah. I'm super good. And that was my weak, my weak flick. My, that's, I'm left-handed. That's Fuck a good one. Me. We used to play this game in the army can, where we would flick each other's Adam's apple as hard as we could and see who until somebody just couldn't take it anymore. Jesus. So that's how I got good at flicking stuff. Because you had to, you had to flick like, harder than like the other guy. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be like, you're eating your Adam's apple. Yeah. Like, oh, Whoa, wasn't you'd have to books or anything in the army, huh? It's just, <laughs> just a lot of kind of left your own. We made our own fun. You know, made our own fun. Jeff cards. Pre Jeff went to the army pre video games. That's, That's true. true. That's yeah. True. So well, they still had cards. Well, they had cards. Yes. Yeah, they played a lot of spades. Spades. You know, oh, I love spades. <laughs> that was a brutal. brutal you know, That's what I'll tell you. Anything right now. One of the things. A lot. I see. I saw a lot of fist fights. Around spades, spades in the army, what? yeah. Really? Take that shit seriously. Oh, I get hot about that too. Jesus I can't Christ. play with my mom anymore. She has to be on my team. Because if not, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. <laughs> it's not happening. Lena Scarpino forgot to watch it. Be careful if you're around. <laughs> I, no, man, I'll tell you I'll tell you right in the right now. I want to do I want to play more card games in my life. Yeah. I want I want to sit around a table with my friends and play more card games. Nobody want wants friends. to do it. Nobody wants to do it anymore. Well, so you go to Vegas, you know? I don't want to bet. No, oh, okay. I, I just what? want to have Cocktails, go over to someone's house, play dominoes, play cards, play hearts, play spades, oh. euchre. If you guys know what that game is, mm -hmm. play something like that. Have you tried Dose? What's Dose? Well, it's the sequel to Uno. Is that a real thing? Or yeah. yeah. No, 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 We haven't played it yet. Okay. It's actually a thing. I, played I mean, it. I would try that. Oh, you did? I, I would definitely it. try it. Yeah. Not as fun as saying Is it Uno? Is it just Uno? Yeah, I played it when I went on vacation. I bought a deck because I was curious to see if Dose was any good. Dose! There it is. The world's number two card game. <laughs> that is the saddest. That's almost as sad as what I imagine Ezra. Unverified. Dude, that was a ten. <laughs> Look at there's a ten on it. Oh yeah, it's it's very different. Oh my god, it's very different. They're changing the game. Holy shit, it blew my mind. You know, one of the funnest times I've had in a long time was when we got the shit kicked out of us by you two in Trivial Pursuit. That was a blast. That's <laughs> I what I'm talking about. We had no, a great time. That wasn't by, had, that wasn't by us. No, you went by, Idiot no, Savant on it too it for a second by, there. Was a, I, no, I went Idiot Savant on the Mothman question. That's all <laughs> I knew. <laughs> Jumping for the Mothman. <laughs> big pull. I pulled I, in for Mothman and that was out. I had a great time too until I saw Greg Miller's face. Well... And the rest of his body. He that doesn't he take his feet well. He was not happy. Oh no, he's not. He, he's, he hated that. He, was he like, jokes about he it. He was like, ha ha, tonight's like, over. Yeah, he's fiercely competitive. Yeah, I was like, fuck. The fact that I currently am, and probably always will be, because I'm awesome, the kind of funny world champion, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I have the belt, if grades on him. And, fun fact, he has a standing desk now. It's a perfect height for my belt. So when he's gone, <laughs> I put the belt on it. <laughs> Check that out on my Instagram Brutal. if you want, at Nick underscore Scarpino. Also, that was like <laughs> Garbo Man before Garbo Man existed. Was like that. Oh, was well, the pre Greg Greg in the trash bag. Yeah, yeah, climbed into the trash bag to tell be me what you know. <laughs> tell me what you know. The Greg, alien to Greg, jump Jack. <laughs> the Greg Miller 
alien in the garbage bag that came from 10,000 years in the future and wants to know what we know about yeah. the future. <laughs> Tell me what you know. I'm from the future. Look, Tell me what you know about the there future. Was, there was some Teen Wolf-esque plot holes in it, but yeah, it, it was fine. It, it came together okay. It was it really was, funny. It was a good moment. That was a fun time. Because his plan was to climb onto Jack's chest and do that. <laughs> we had to stop him. Like, no, we please can't don't do it. Like, Jack let the man was, Jack, Jack was not in a good place. Incredibly drunk. I'm not going to point fingers, but someone kept pouring him shots. Jack gets really drunk about once every seven <laughs> years, that. and that was yeah. his that was his moment. He was beautiful. And he was he's wonderful. So loving. He's so yeah, like, he's you know, such a happy, lovey. It amplifies. Yeah. yeah. Like I really felt like it amplified what's real, like true to him, where he was just like, I want to hug everyone. And he kept he was like, Scarpino, are you having a good time? I want you to be, I'm like, I'm having a great time, man. He basically becomes a care bear. Oh, he's beautiful. Yeah. He's, 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 he hugs everything and tells everything how much he loves it. It was, it was, my favorite was him interacting with Michael. He'd be like, Michael, you made that baby. You did it. And she's wonderful. And you're a dad. That was you. I love you. It was all you. He did all that stuff. And then he looks at Trevor and he goes, Trevor, take your wallet out of your pocket so I can tackle you into the pool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like Trevor had to get his stuff out of his Trevor's pocket. Trevor's like, what? I was like, like, Trevor, I like, love okay. you okay. and you. And I'm gonna tackle you! <laughs> one of the things I appreciate about you guys is when you say you're gonna do something like that, it's happening. It's a foregone yeah. conclusion. No, you yeah, guys will take your wallet out of your no. pocket and put it aside. There's no backing out. Someone's really, tackling you in the pool. That was a great time. Just, I yeah. was I was motivated for life by something that happened in Jackass the movie 2. Mm. When they're uh, about to hit, I think it was they're about to get stand in front of Claymore's. <laughs> Yeah. And get hit with like BBs from Claymore, oh, it's like the rubber riot, pellets. The riot, the riot control one. things. Yeah. Oh and they're like, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. And Johnny Ross will walk over and walks over and he goes, It's footage. Yep. And everybody goes, Argh. And they go do it. I, that, that became the rallying, that became like the motivation for all of Ashima Hunter. I just got, It's footage. And people are like, Argh. My, well, my favorite shot is when they, they test fire that riot. So yeah. And it, Ryan Dunn's like, Nope, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. It's a riot control yeah. device. It's just a square about that big. You set it off, and it sets off explosives in it that launches a net of BBs out. Oh, like it's it just like a shot. Like all lined up against that the wall. That sounds like right? guaranteed yeah. to take an eye. I remember that. Oh yeah, uh, like, well an asshole because they were faced the other way. Uh -huh. Some of them were, That's but smart. like. They That's test fire it against dummies, and the dummies like shatter yeah. and like, get broken by it. And then and Johnny Knoxville instantly starts laughing. Oh, yeah, they, they, no. that's that fight. So look, Johnny Knoxville starts laughing, and then Bam gets out. <laughs> like, Brian Douglas fucking no. Christ and runs away. <laughs> oh, my, like, I no way. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> imagine the people that set this up for them were I like, know. do this. They I, must have been like, do not do this. Yeah. There is an insurance problem here. Like, how? How? Why would the, they do the this stuff? The respect I have for Giant Oxbow now. I know. Now, like, I just, like, I just love it because oh. he just goes, he just goes, it's footage. Yeah. And that's like all he had to say. And people were like, oh right, you just fall in line. They also did the thing where they got shot by the shotgun bing bag thing, mm -hmm. right? Too, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was brutal. Too. Oh. That thing was rough. one of the that worst I've seen is when they get the professional highlight players to fucking wing oranges at them. Oh, oh highlight God. God. Oh. That could real. That could kill you. Yeah. yeah. If that hits you wrong, you're that hits you in the heck. It could cuss. Fucking break your spine. Yeah, I mean, they, they've taken you know it pretty good. That's why yeah. they're, they're all super okay. popular. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still he got the, the handlebar up the dick, and that was. I was, I was actually talking about them, uh, uh, Johnny, Johnny Knoxville, and uh, and those guys specifically today. Johnny Knoxville and Steve-O, we were going to lunch, and I was getting out of uh, Ezra's car, and I was like. If, you, if I sit anywhere for more than 10 minutes without moving, I get the old man creaks, you know? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. As I was getting out of the car, I'm unfolding myself and like limping towards the place. And I, I, I looked at Matt and I'm like, can you imagine what it must be like to be Johnny Knoxville or Steve-O after the damage they put? Because they're, they're we're about the same age. They're like maybe three or four years older than me. Mm -hmm. Like they, they must be wheeled around in wheelchairs until they have to like appear places. Because oh. it's like I could barely move at 43 and I've had the most milquetoast version of that. Yeah. You yeah. know, like what we do is so is like such... A, such a soft version of what they or other people like them do, like the Nitro Circus guys or the Dudesons or any of those assholes, and uh, it's like it's it's such a lame version of what they do, well, and it mm -hmm. and my body is just riddled with pain from it. What's bizarre too is that like Johnny Knoxville looks older, like he mm -hmm. looks like yeah. a different person, like he's uh, Steve-O looks like Steve-O. Yeah, you know it's like well he cleaned up. Yeah, he really did. He too. really did. He, he sounds different, but you know he's he just looks. Are they exactly. still doing stuff? Are yeah. they still doing? Gavin that? and I filmed the Johnny Knoxville last year. Really? Johnny Knoxville was like he just contacted Gavin or not. I'm sorry, not Johnny Knoxville. We Steve filmed Steve-O Steve last year, or maybe it was year before. But uh, he was in his 40s and he was just like, yeah, I want to film. I want to film some slow mo stuff. <laughs> and so the video's out. It's been out for years. But he literally just showed up in Gavin's backyard. We set up a folding table. He stood on it, doused his hand in alcohol, lit his hand on fire, did a backflip. 
blue flame, filled his mouth with like whatever fire shit, and then blew uh, a fireball at a balloon and tried to pop the balloon that was full of water to put himself out. And he did 40 takes before we got it. What? And the dude's in his 40s. Yep. And, and, every, and like in, until the 40th take, like he never landed on his feet. It was always like fucking rolling around on the ground or busting his ass. And he's like, and at one point he's like, I don't know how many more of these I got in me, so I hope we get it soon. And I'm like, I don't know how you would have more than one in you. You're like, sir, we don't need to get it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. We've got it. It's done. But they're just we've like. you riding you around on fire. They're fucking tough as nails. I got to yeah. imagine that their bodies More power are, to them. Yeah, that's, that, they, they got to be in. There's got to be They've learned to embrace pain. pain. Yeah. 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 It's got to be I, like, their bodies have to be like NFL players. Just have a low-grade opiate addiction. <laughs> That'd be just a little, just a little yeah. one. Just a little one that keeps you, keeps you regular. It's probably not funny to joke about. <laughs> it's probably it, not good. It'd be awesome. I'm just like this. Mm. Nah, that's a real problem right now. Awesome if you guys could find that and put it up. The slow mo footage. Slow mo video. The slow mo footage. Yeah, yeah. control. No, they'll Steve find up. it in three seconds. Yeah, they're, they're three, really quick on this shit. Two, one. They are fast. Show it. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> they were close. They were close. They were close. They were almost there. Like, look at him. He looks exactly the same. And he's older than I am. Yeah. Where did he jump off of? They did that backflip. He did that table, table right, right there. there. Oh, he can do a backflip. Good for him. He and uh, like literally like forty fucking takes. We might have had to do it over two days. I don't remember. Did he Maybe douse his hand in something that would make sure it didn't burn his skin? No, he had to put it out between takes. We had to run over and put his hand out because and, and we had to give him like it was some kind of gel. Yeah, he's like. At this point, the wa he's hit the thing a million. <laughs> but and like his, I love that look because his mouth is full of shit. <laughs> yeah, his hand got burned the fuck up, and so we'd have to keep like taking care of it. What do the neighbors in this house think? You know, you ever think about that? Mm -hmm. What do the norms think? I think that they think I got a free flamethrower out of this. So <laughs> that, like, look did, at that! Oh my god, that's amazing! How fucking cool is that? Yeah, this must be a different the yeah, second day because in a different shirt. I feel like we did it over two days. Um... Oh, get around, Steve-O. Come on, keep cool rotating, buddy. Is that? There you go. And then sploosh. <laughs> He's so happy. He's so happy not to Dude, do that backflip Dude, I still get anymore. this feeling in the pit of my stomach every time I see someone do a backflip. Oof. Because of how many people I've seen land on their heads and shit. Like, oh. over gymnastics. Because like, people, when they don't know how to do backflips, it's like, you know, they get spotted, right? Which just means someone literally stands there with their arm, like, here mm -hmm. on them. So that, like, if they're about to land on their head, you just kind of do that. And, like, mm -hmm. kind of throw them up so they land on their knees or their chest or something and not their head. But, like, you have to have this mentality of when doing a backflip, because I used, I used to be able to do them, where, like, you have to jump straight up. Like, you have to jump, like, up first, and then you flip. Mm. But, like, so many people just want to, like, do just that and themselves. start flipping, which is just yeah. straight on the back mm -hmm. of your neck. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, it's just fucking brutal watching people, like, try to do it that don't know how to do Dude, it. Dude, I, I grew up doing nothing of, like, pain or any of that kind of stuff. Like, not punching each other in the dick or stapling each other in the fucking face, which you and you did or something like that. I hit my uh, my friend hit my other friend in the face with a stapler and stapler. Yeah, like I grew up doing none together. of that. So like coming, so like coming here, <laughs> was was hammer staplers. Like, yeah, yeah, just like he, he went pa pa and it hit him right. In the yeah, head. like oh, I, I grew awesome. up doing none of that. I was very sheltered from all that. So coming here and, and it's just like, oh yeah, you know, we unbox that fucking cup on Awu and it was like threw it on and everyone's throwing shit on my fucking nuts. I was like, I have no idea how this is going to feel. I have no <laughs> idea what am I about to experience. This could really suck. This could not suck. I'm going to say it. it's going to mostly feel bad. Yeah, I yeah. kicked, that, I kicked that kickball as hard as I humanly could. Ew. The one time I missed you, it went under your leg. I was so yeah. disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> we were in Louisiana for the ghost hunt shoot and Jeff was like next to me and he goes, I just want to point out Hitting Alfredo in the nuts on Abu is one of the, this is the most fun I've had recently. That's not a good. That's not a no. That's not a it's good fine. thing. It's acceptable. It was a lot of fun. Because yeah. now you, you got you got a taste. I got of a it. taste for it. Yeah, like like you said, I'm just so used to like shit like that. Like with my friend, my friends and I used to do shit like that constantly. It's mm -hmm. like we knew it was gonna hurt and stuff like that. And like, um, I I worry about so much less now because I know it's yeah. like your your body can take a lot. <laughs> Yeah, like, I don't, really right can. now it can, but all that shit. I, I mean, up. it'll come yeah. back on yeah. me. I know, but so like, I don't know what my body can take. I don't know what my pain tolerance is. There I'm was, just like, I'm just riding it. There was this time when I was in the in the gymnastics gym with my friends, like before practice started, whatever. So we were just kind of hanging out in there. We just like we had this uh, uh, trampoline. 
God, I forget what it's called. Um, but it's like it's like a long trampoline. It's like a runway trampoline, mm-hmm. and just goes down to like a crash mat and stuff like that. And like we just kind of play around that for a while and do whatever. So I was really into wrestling, WWE stuff. Match. So you know, you, you know. So uh, I was like, I'm gonna do a swanton bomb. Jeff Hardy, okay. right? Like yes, he, but he, if for those of us who don't for those know of you who don't is. know what that is, it's you jump off of something. He does it off of like the turnbuckle, right? And you flip forward and you land like right here, so you kind of roll out of it. So you land like on the top of your back, like this. So you flip over and then like kind of roll okay. out of it. But it's like, oh, you landed on the opponent, right? Like using the top of your back, and they're out cold. That's the most dangerous part of the body, right? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Um, so I was like, the hammer, I'm going to do one of these. <laughs> so we had these blocks that are about Body's this high. Chainsaw. <laughs> They're like foam blocks about this high, about that wide. And we call them parallel bar blocks because you use them to practice parallel bar stuff. But like you just hold yourself up like that on them, on these foam blocks instead of on actual bars. So you can practice stuff and it's a little safer. So I stack two of those on each other. Unless you do that. Right. So it's like eight feet or so um, up. So I climb up onto the top of it. I've got a mat on the floor. And I'm like, I'm gonna do this swanton bomb thing. And I jump off to do it, but I didn't put the blocks flush with the wall. Mm-hmm. So I jumped off and the blocks all kind of go. So I don't get any push off from it. <laughs> so yeah. instead of like flipping over and landing here, I landed like on yeah. my chin oh. from like eight feet up. I just like came straight down like on my chin and my feet hit my the back of my head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I just like laid there for a second and like everyone else like that was in there with me was gathered around me and I was just laying there and I was like I just fucking like broke my back or something like I am fucked you know like I just had to lay there for a second like if I try to move will I fall apart like that was my question I was like am I just gonna like crumble and uh cause it was a loud crack and shit too and I was like that's I'm so fucked I'm so fucked and um yeah like after a bit I, like after a bit I just kind of like slowly stood up and I was just like I'm, I'm like, not going to okay. be a practice today. <laughs> I just went home. <laughs> but like, what you, what, 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 how do they explain that to the coaches? You know what I mean? What, what, they they told them. They were like, Jeremy jumped off the thing and, and landed on his head and went home. My coach chin. was like, all right. But, uh, sure, uh, of course you did. <laughs> Millie and I just saw the, you guys are talking about these backflips. Millie and I were just watching the season premiere, season 11 of Ridiculousness, and there was a clip on there. It was one of the funniest things I've seen, and also brutal. Some dude is like on a roof, and he's just like standing at the edge of the roof, and he flips off the camera like this and just falls back off the oh, roof Jesus and you feels like a trust fall or something. And then the camera, the guy, the camera guy runs over and follows him. And he's like, fuck you, Wisconsin, or whatever the fuck he is, like some small town or whatever he says. Fuck you, Wisconsin. Or somebody's name. He just was like, fuck you something. You can't really hear it. And then you and, and the camera tracks and follows him. And as it looks, as it as he's falling down, you realize that there's just one like fat kid standing there to catch him. Oh, no. And the kid just holds his arms out like this, and his arms just go. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, what are you gonna and do? And the kid You're just lands stop on his neck. <laughs> yeah. And the kid lands on his neck, and the, ki- and the kid's like, huh. And the kid's like, groggy, and the kid just g- walks over and goes, <laughs> like, that's gonna do anything. Oh my it's, God. If you, if you see it, if you can, you should watch it. It is People fucking don't realize hilarious and terrible. It's, it's, it's really hard to judge, unless you've done it, how fast you fall mm-hmm. from like a, 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 from a considerable height, you know, it's like if you're eight ten to ten feet up or whatever And you look down. It's like it looks like kind of a long way But you're like I've jumped off stuff before I can jump like mm-hmm. you fucking can't you like you fall quick You have to be re- you'll you'll break your goddamn ankles. I think like when I was a kid I was convinced oh, I could jump off a roof with enough Umbrellas tied together that I would <laughs> Mary Poppins down. Yep. <laughs> you know, like, the amount of the amount of times I had to limp home crying because my ankles were fucking ruined. Would you oh. think that just one more umbrella would? Yeah, you'd be like, my friend would be like, I just like two more umbrellas. And I'm like, oh, I'll try to get them more. Do they just like turn inside out, like do that thing? Yeah, or they or it like falls apart, <laughs> or you just or they just go down very quickly. <laughs> and hey, do we, absolutely nothing. We used to do. I don't know why. We were bored when we were children. We used to see who could jump the farthest. Off That's the a good one. Yeah. yeah. So get a running start and try to jump the farthest. That's and an then awful so you idea. also have like the impact of that that motion in yeah. and it was terrible. And I was the only person I had done like some a small amount of tumbling because I was in like karate and kempo when I was right. a kid. So yeah, you yeah. do like panda rolls and shit like that. And mm-hmm. then we just so I could roll, but my friends could not, and they would just Plant their knees. Yeah, you in. need to. Oh, it was no, just a, no, no, no. That's a broken leg. I have to like, so to many of my friends must have knee problems now from when I grew up. Yeah, like, I was just like, I like rolling I roll when you land is a like, huge ah, you know? deal. Like, it, it makes all the difference in the fucking world. But like, 
Oh, running and sprinting is going to make that so much no, worse, worse because yeah. like you're going to want to go out to get as far that. as possible. You feel good though because you you, you that. have that moment where you're like I'm going forward and it's then like, you have an oh, impact of the oh, ground. Oh shit! And also this is you have to put in context. We're jumping off of houses, so there are sprinkler heads, there are branches, there's, shit. Oh, there's so much roots. shit there that you're not even thinking about until Rocks. your head hits one of them. Uh, wasps nests, things like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. We um, that all the time. Angry neighbors. I think I came across this on Instagram like just yesterday. I was just looking for it, but there's this guy who has a compilation of videos and the one that like caught my eye is that he does like flips like front flips like off of ledges and stuff he has one where he does one into a pool but he does it so like if this is the the edge of the pool and like this is the water yeah he does it so his his body just barely cuts no, across no. the edge just up. So dude, no. No. he does a front flip and he, he like just diagonally dives through and it's like a fucking inch of just like there's the ledge there's just it's like passing up its spine like through his neck and everything and he does that over like multiple things like at the beach at the pool i'm just like how do you even practice that like i get you have it down but how do you practice getting that close to the edge of something and not just ugh, like conking your neck andy and i went on a tear Oof. where we started watching a bunch of videos of uh spider-man at birthday parties knocking himself out. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen, have you seen there these? are a lot of there are so, so many of them God, there's yeah. so many spider-man like the, and all of them are him trying knocking to do the thing where you he tries to kick off the wall and do mm -hmm. a backflip and then just lands on his head no yeah they're the best you can find them if you, they're the best because there's got to be some kid who, whose birthday <laughs> party it is that doesn't realize what's happening until way later in life. You're like, yeah, that guy knocked himself out. I like the ones that, that do their best to recover afterwards. So they get up and they're just like, yeah. <laughs> they, yeah, like trying to stay in it, but you're, yeah. 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 Was, Ryan was really committed. Just did, but, <laughs> oh, they're so good. It, it's, it's brutal, dude. And like, literally after just like, because I, I like, you know, was an instructor in like a gymnastics camp. How long like did you do gymnastics like a, for? I did, I did gymnastics for four years while I was in high school. Okay, so, so you didn't start when you were like a kid, like no, super young? No, I, I just did it every year I was in high school. And then, um, but I kept in, instructing like during a kind of like a summer camp thing. For, cool. Like I, I did that for another like three years after that. Um, and like, you know, I just was in charge of like my group of kids. And like, you know, I, I moved from like, there were three different groups. There was different age groups. So there was like grades one and two was their own age group. Uh, grades three through five was their own, and then grades six through twelve was their own. <laughs> Just imagine and, you pulled all these kids aside. You're like day one of camp. Whichever one of you kids can do this move, <laughs> dude, <laughs> but uh, again, you'll be my favorite. On, honestly, like you know, like grades one and two, you kind of, kind of. I mean, what are the, what the fuck are they gonna do? Yeah. You know, you're gonna like, like somersault them. kids, and you have to help like some of them do it, and then you're like do like a relay race for these somersault and just, whatever. But then, like, and then, like, three through five, you got a little more advanced. Like, you'd show them, like, actual things. And then six through 12, because I would, like, slowly move up. Like, by the last, like, two or three years that I did the camp, I was, like, kind of was, like, the head counselor. Mm -hmm. So I'd, like, tell all the other counselors what to do. Like, ran all the, like, big camp-wide things. But then, like, when you have grades six through 12, you just fucking kill those kids and it's <laughs> awesome yeah. you're just like like randomly just i'll be like all right cool we're gonna like head over to high bar and like do some stuff over here we'll like show you how to like do these things okay but for 20 push-ups real quick and like they just like would all oh, do yeah. it and i loved that shit i was just like <laughs> beat the crap out of these kids yeah no, nothing better for the high bar than you making them do push-ups yeah. <laughs> like, pull right those do 30 pull-ups i can't get on the rings. imagine uh yeah, what it was like for an actual coach like the coach of the team that you have people like trying these moves that are fucking insanity um and and just assuming like that they'll, they'll handle themselves you know what i mean like you you, you yeah. want to be able to spot everybody make mm. sure everybody's gonna be safe but you have to at a certain point be like this gotta let they'll go. handle the it. bird's yeah. gotta leave the, the um, nest like my coach one time was talking to me about because i used to just do rings i did rings and parallel bars mm -hmm. is all i did and like so i was on the rings and we were talking about you know it's all you're all on the rings for the whole thing and then you have to do a dismount of yeah. some kind and I really wanted to learn how to do a double backflip for a dismount. And, but I mean, we don't have like a foam pit or anything. So there's no way to like practice it. It's just kind right. of like you, you try the double thing and either you make it or you don't. And, um, and part of you lands. Right. So I was like, I'm just going to do one flip, but I'm going to see like how, how much height I can get on this one flip. Right. Cause then I can determine from that if I can do a second one or not. So I do this one giant flip. My coach is kind of watching me. He's like, 
And I can see him thinking to himself, like, I don't know if this is going to be. It's not going to be. It's not going to be. It's not going to be. I do like the one flip, and I am not prepared for how kind of high up I am from it because it's it's not normal for me. So I go a bit over where I'm supposed to go, and instead of landing on my feet on the mat, I just land right on my ass. Mm. But I wasn't paying attention, and my tongue was kind of hanging out on oh, there, no. and I just bit the end of my tongue off, like in the middle of practice. Um, and like I. Like yeah. actually bit it off? Yeah. Like a chunk? Mm -hmm. Did you have to sew it back on or is it just done? It was it. It was Wait. gone. So the yeah. What's um, your tongue look like now? It looks pretty normal. It grows back. Oh yeah. no, it's a little yeah, blunted. It's, it's a little really it's a little well. flat on the end. A little end, but, too, yeah. but uh uh so I just like ended up <laughs> biting a piece of my tongue off and I'm looking at my coach and I'm did like Did you retrieve it? Yes, I did. I had it. It was like that big. And I was like I was like, all right, was that was that enough uh, height? Was that enough height? My my coach was looking at me like <laughs> What? <laughs> He's like, what are you talking about? Dude, it was, it was, it was like all the way down. Flip. I feel like that's not how it sounded. It was probably like, that's enough height. That's good. That's good. That's good. Went, like, went wow, into the right. locker room to like clean up and the track team is there and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what am I looking at? It's like a zombie. I did the double backflip. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, we just I'm went, we went awesome, running for a little bit. Awesome. You should have been there for it. Like, guys, I almost had it. Uh, that close. The rings. Oh, that was the Spider-Man. Here's one of them. Oh, here's the setup for the backflip. Oh! He was not prepared for this. There's more. There's another one where he tries to kick off a wall and do a backflip, as well as an outdoor birthday party oh, too. That's that just, just as good as that one, if not better. That guy somehow managed to land dick first on yeah. us. Bro, he but he went him. He locked himself out. He That's knocked his ass out. He yeah. just, uh, he just, he just. My, yeah, uh, my, himself. my. Friend who is um, one blocked. of the captains of the gymnastics team, along with me, there was uh, he graduated like you know during graduations they obviously do it by last name and like alphabetically mm -hmm. right so he was like right behind me and um, we both did like stupid shit for our graduation thing he did a backflip off of the stage okay and dude I watched the whole thing like this I was just, like I knew he could do it I'd seen him do it a million times and I'm still like. He's gonna fucking break his neck at a graduation. Like, he's was he wearing a gown? Yup. Yeah, that's dangerous. I was like, he's gonna, fucking, really he's gonna fucking catch dangerous. something. He's gonna... I put, uh, you know, the party poppers. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. pff, I installed four of those in my hat, and <laughs> I had a bunch of yarn hanging down from my hat. But four of them were a bit longer and tied to the poppers. Like, so I literally walked up on stage, and my vice principal was there, who knew me, hated me. Uh, he like was standing there with the, the diploma. And he saw me come up and I was just holding them. He goes, <laughs> he goes I don't know what you're doing. Do not do it. <laughs> and I like pulled them and just confetti shot out of my You can't stop me now, my friend. Yeah, it was awesome. I'm <laughs> out in the world. Like, shot confetti out of my You let the gremlin out like, into the, the world. Diploma. Jesus Christ. And then he came up and like did a backflip off the stage. Oh, dude. I was just like, <laughs> fucking hell. You guys dude, were way that, rowdier you... than I was. Oh, wait. Here's uh, Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. Backflip. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. He shrugged that one off a little bit. But here he is there. I think it's Spider-Man still. <laughs> Spider -Man. Spider -Man. <laughs> Spider -Man. You can see the girl laughing. He was like, ugh. Still Spider-Man <laughs> though. Spidey. Where is Doc? Oh. Uh, it's just not a He's good like, idea. The Hobgoblin stole my dignity. <laughs> I, I love graduations and shit like that. Like, it's like my favorite thing. I did that during when did my college. Did they not threaten you? No. Like when, when I was Different graduating, time. they were like, do not yeah. do anything yeah. or you don't get a diploma. Oh, they kind of. <laughs> like, what are you going to do? Yeah, exactly. You don't want to give you a diploma. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I was like, keep it. So, but like, you know, I did that. Do you have your diploma? My mom has I've been seeing mine since the mine. night I, I got it. on my parents' staircase. I was disappointed when I graduated college, though, when they were like, you got you to come pick up your diploma like two months later. I was mm. like, wait, you're not going to give it to me? Like, oh, no, no, it's it. like a, they give you like something to take a picture of. I mean, they could have mailed it, but I was like, I want it there. Like, give me the thing. You can't yeah. just print it out. Hand there. it to me. It's yeah. a graduation. Yeah, it's like, be fancy. It up and give it to me. My, during my college graduation, uh, I was like, I, I went with my family to like this flower shop because there was someone else in my college college that we knew who was graduating as well. We're like, we're gonna buy them flowers. We were like, hey, here's flowers. And while I was in there, I saw this flower that was like this big, and it was bright pink, and you could just buy them by like the one. Like I just want one flower, so I I I was like, all right, I'm gonna buy it. So I bought this one flower, and I sat there the whole graduation with this giant flower. And then like I go up, we're all graduating, they're giving us the diplomas, and like the head of my department was like standing there, and he's like shaking everyone's hands as they go by. And I just walked up and I went, this is for you. 
and I like tucked it in his like lapel. And he just had this flower that was like this big on him, and he just said, the rest of the graduation had a flower like that big on him. You're <laughs> just like fucking ridiculous. Don't take this the wrong way. That's a dick. You're a dick. I'm a dick. I know. I know I'm a dick. Um, yeah, a dick. A dick and then my cousin. Yeah, you're a real dick, Jeremy. My cousin Rob graduating. He for the longest time. Um, he, he doesn't look like he should be related to me in any way, shape, or form. Um, but he had dreadlocks for a really long time. You know, like, went down to, like, here, super long dreadlocks, and, like, had him most of his life. And when he graduated, he shaved his head, and then he stapled his dreadlocks to the inside of his hat. So he wore the hat with all the dread, and it still looked like he had the dreadlocks, but they were just stapled to his hat. Pro move. So he went up and he took his diploma and he, th he threw the hat off, and all the dreadlocks <laughs> went with it, and it was like everyone went nuts. That's that's I just love it. I, that's the, just what my family does. You guys are insane. <laughs> that's what? my whole family. It's something in the water where you grew up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's something it's in mercury. the alcohol yeah, where we yeah, grew up. Yeah. It's mercury in the water. It's, it's, the water. Yeah. it's a real alcohol instead of water. It's a Flint, Michigan thing going on there. It's I not. Know. It's, it's, I yeah. remember when I was when I was in high school. I wanted to sit on the stage, and the, and I was like, but I'm not ever going to be valedictorian. I didn't. I hated studying, and I was like, I got like a. I think I had a three something grade point average leave, and I wasn't that great. And uh, but I, but I knew that if I was in uh, if I was the class vice president, <coughs> I would get to sit on the stage. Oh, that's a tactical. And le move. all I had to do was lead the pledge of allegiance. And so I ran. My my buddy wanted to be class president. And so I ran as the vice president, and I did nothing all year. And then I got to sit up on the stage. That's awesome. And all of my friends were like, they didn't realize what I was doing. They're like, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, don't worry about it. I got this in, I got this in my pocket. It's a long pocket. Yeah, it's a long con. And uh, yeah, that's what I, I, come graduation, I was like, all right, everybody, please rise. Did my bit, said my bit for king and country. Yeah. I was like, right on. Looked at my mom. And she was like, Fresh, you're, she was like, you're an President idiot. Scarpino here. And I was like, see you guys later. I'm going to go kiss some babies. Dude, good try. You didn't fool me, but good try. I forgot about that, like, running for office in the class. I yeah, totally forgot about people that. People promise but dumb shit. I'm oh, eating ice cream every day. They had a president, a vice <laughs> president, serious. a treasurer. Yep. Um, and Usually, like, a secretary, too, A right? secretary. And there was a, a, a thing called member at large. Yeah. Yeah, member Something at large. Like that. My friend... <laughs> Doesn't that mean you're just We got in so much present? trouble because my friend ran for member at large, and so we put up posters around the high school that said, my member is larger than yours. <laughs> 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 and then his name, like, we didn't tell him about it, we just put up posters, yeah. just, my member is larger than yours, John, like, <laughs> his name. That's, that's beautiful. And, oh my god, John they, Johnson. they were not happy with us. <laughs> Do you want to know, uh, 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 a little piece of trivia about the Pledge of Allegiance. Sure. Did you know that Under God wasn't always a part of it? Yeah, they put it that in. Added in 1954. Was it yeah. really? Yeah, it didn't used to be a part of it. They added it by law in 1954. What, what president? What yeah. administration? Who was like, we need this. Was it, 19, that's not true. What would you say, 54? 54 19, June 14th, 1954. I, I will never guess that correctly, so I'm not even going to bother. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone knows I'm terrible at trivia. Was it Eisenhower? So. It used to be. Dude. It used to be. Just say a president. I pledge law. allegiance. I might get lucky. Yes, Eisenhower. I pledge allegiance to my flag and the republic for which it stands, one nation indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Yeah, that's, that's, that's uh, yeah. preferable. It's weird that we have it that in was, there. It's always weird to me out that you have that it in was there. It's it was just country. It yeah. was Eisenhower. It yeah. was added in response uh, to the communist threat of the times. Because oh, communists were communists against, against God. 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 Yeah. 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 They're yeah. above God. Communists They're same we're under God. God. Right. Yeah, that was weird. I just finished the 10-part Ken Burns documentary on Vietnam. Oh, yeah? It is... Fascinating. Yeah. Hour and a half average episode, ten parts, something like that. So it's like fifteen hours of uh, of documentary, and it is absolutely stirring. Like I don't know if you guys have ever watched a Ken Burns documentary, but it's like it paints a picture of all the sides. Can you put up a picture of Ken Burns, please? Dude, they're speaking, working on it. Speaking I dare of them to docs, put up a picture of Mr. Burns. I need, <laughs> I need to find a fucking doc of how people build bridges. Cause how the fuck they do that? Like it just seems so complex. On the, are there divers involved? Yeah. Yes. What kind of yeah. digging? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming there is. So you got to put. But the, like, got to put the structure. So what is the process? How do you get the cement down there? Is there cement? Is well, there cement wiring? sinks? So yeah, you, you make easy. the cement you outside. Usually, yeah, but is it like a tube and you send the down. cement down there? Like, there's a dock somewhere that exists, right? Oh, no, that's a really good picture of him. Never, Look at that guy. He looks so bad. The, the photo doesn't do him justice. He right, might like, be oh, the most talented person picture? with the worst hair I've ever oh, seen. Oh, he's got that. He's got that. <laughs> he's got Paul that like parted hair. down the middle Paul McCartney oh, hair. Yeah. It's all feathered oh, like yeah. it's 1972, and Beautiful. he's not giving it up. No. Oh, he's yeah, so. Looks, 
he's so immensely talented. That looks good. But I back. desperately want to take him to a barber shop. Well, didn't he? He. I, I, this is my first time watching one of his documentaries. Someone told me that he used to narrate the other ones. I don't mm-hmm. know if he said. So they got Peter Coyote to narrate this one. Okay. Strong call. Yeah. If you're not familiar with Peter Coyote. You know who Peter oh. Coyote. Oh wow. Yeah, that is. Even that that's that's a, like that's like him channeling uh, fucking Daryl from Walking Dead. Once again, he looks that's a lot a like Daryl. He looks a lot like Daryl from Walking Dead. That's crazy. That's a I wish I had hair like that. Terrible. I would rock the hair like that. Because uh, that look's going to come back eventually. No, and not. he's going to be like, I've been holding it down. Oh, no, it'll so, come around. It's like when people, so, who knows? people from the 80s like, kept wearing skinny jeans. Yeah. Or like, now they're like, fuck you to everyone. <laughs> right. like, this, is my, this has been my shit forever. I did it before it was cool. Yeah. yeah. Dude, you never know, man. Fanny packs are back. The fanny packs are, no, no, no. Fanny packs no, are not back. Yes, they are. They're they're like, trying look, to come back. Look at Gucci's site. Look at Gucci's site. Dude, and, 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 and the Instagram world is fashionistas. saying no. When I went, you came will have one to Deadpool too. When I went, when I went to, when I went to the YouTube, when I went to the YouTube Creator Summit this year in Brooklyn, they gave us, they give you like a gift bag, like a swag bag. They gave us three things. They gave us a Google Pixel phone, a special sweatshirt, and a fanny pack. What'd you do with a Google Pixel phone? Uh, I, it's on my, it's on my countertop. Top in my living room, in my, in my dining room. Just waiting. Why? Waiting. Oh, I don't know what to call. do with it. Gonna use it I don't use burn it. Phone. Give it to me. I'll use it. Sell you it. don't want a <laughs> Pixel <laughs> 2 with a 128 phone. gig hard drive, do you? Sell it. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Oh. That sounds pretty good. Actually. All right. You can have it. I, I would <laughs> rock. Like, this is it's the, never I, been taken out of the wrapper. <laughs> I want fanny Jeez. packs to come back. I they rocked a fanny back. pack when I was in the 80s. Fanny packs never went out. I used to have like the hypo color fanny pack. It was like multi For a certain I had, like, yeah, the, you're right. The fluorescent yellow fanny pack. I loved fanny packs. What did you oh, store it? Worst. You stored well when I was Other a kid. Nothing. Packs. You had nothing when you were a kid. <laughs> I didn't have down. an ID or anything. It was anything. just if you found something though. Yeah. Yeah. It's where you have to hide your manhood when you wear it. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That one was in my face. Dude, go to like just Gucci's. cut a hole in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you go right. to like Gucci's, you your space in your jeans. I, go, I don't know yeah. what's in there. Take a look. <laughs> Millie wants to Pizza have delivery. Gucci shit because Gucci's so fucking hip hop popular right now. Or Gucci whatever. Game, Gucci game, she's Gucci like, game. she's stop. literally like, fucking stop. She's like, <laughs> I was on the Gucci website the other day and I was looking for the cheapest thing you could get me. Dude, and I'm like, thousands. stop there. I'm not getting anything from Gucci. She's yeah. like, I know the cheapest thing they had was slides. You can get Gucci slides, but they're like $150. I'm like, I'm not gonna buy you a pair of fucking flip flops for $150. Oh, yeah. Dude, Jackie has a pair of like, slides. She's like, she has Gucci slides, I think. She, Millie has, I, got, I, I actually said, I go, I'll get you two pair of Achieve Hunter slides. She's like, I'll, I'll take them. She was happy. I think so I she wore Get Good slides well, to school. Solid. Get good good. Oh. She did. Oh, she got good, though. She's she, part yeah, of the she got good. You she talked her from Gucci to Achieve Hunter. I talked her from Gucci to free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you want slides? I got, I got a box of slides. Nobody <laughs> That's quite costs. a difference there. They're all yours. Also, before we get too far away from it, because I got to bring uh, Nick into this conversation. Sure. So, you know, we talked about how the, the national anthem changed. Yeah. Right? Uh, you know, um, and the president that was in office during it. We played Trivial Pursuit a little while ago, mm-hmm. right? Uh, so it was. Uh, talking about our game, or you guys played it? Since? No, we played it because we play it uh, the video game version. Oh, right, of right, it. right, got it. Uh, we play that quite a lot when there aren't a lot of people in the office. And wait till I'm gone. Or, play. We do wait so till Jeff's gone. You're ridiculous, beautiful that's, mind. That's literally why. Like Jeff literally, will wait. you went on a tear, and I and we all like two of us got up and left. I don't know how that game ended, but I'm pretty sure you won. Yeah, yeah. ridiculous. He he knows a lot. So. But it, it was probably the four least intelligent people in the office or close to it. I would have liked so to have been It was, it was that myself, game. Gavin, Matt Bragg, and That's and a game Alfredo. that I can wow. get into right there. So. It, it was brutal. And Dude, it was, so one of the questions oh God. was, which of these American presidents was in office first, was elected first? Uh, and then it gave you five presidents. Okay. And you each got to pick in a certain order, mm-hmm. depending on how you did. And like the, you know, the better your answer, the more points you got. Uh, and the answers were um, Lincoln, okay. Andrew Jackson, mm-hmm. Thomas Jefferson, mm-hmm. John Adams, and I, I don't know, someone else. But regardless, those were four of them. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Matt went first and picked Lincoln. Okay. Uh, Wait, you supposed to be the, the first or the latest? First. Okay. So, okay. That's so terrible. Went, terrible choice. Was, yeah. uh, then came Alfredo. Was next in line to guess any of those between Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, and Andrew Jackson. And you went with Jackson <laughs> because he's on the 20. <laughs> See, but this this is not fair <laughs> because they all I'm sound like, like they might have been president. Dude, I'm watching you guys know the it's president. The it's like, who was the president first? It's fucking John Adams. He's like John the second Adams, president. Second. Second. And John Jefferson was third. But, like, because like, when they teach it, they always teach it. 
like the first three, oh. they always teach you the first three. Like they drill it into your mind. And even the fourth one you can get away with because it's just atoms again. It's another atom. It's like. They recycle atoms. Yeah, they yeah. recycle atoms. They didn't have a lot of I'll, characters back in those I'll, days. I'll they put had to this, reuse them. I mean, it's already out there. I'm a complete fucking moron. I don't know anything <laughs> about anything. But guess what? I made it fucking work for myself. You so did. I'm you keep really did. Dude. That way. The as fact long that Matt went first can. and picked Lincoln, though, was. He picked the worst one. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 60. 60. 60. 60. 60th president. Yeah. Yeah, that was that's a hard. One. Yeah, he he went in hard on that one. <laughs> his, his thought was like, all right, so we, we the suck. country got founded and we went right into the Civil War, just yeah. like no hesitation. That's like <laughs> Bethany level of historically dumb. It's yeah. it was pretty I'm, bad. I don't know. Then, I'm pretty historically dumb. Um, I would have got that wrong. Yeah, did you think America was founded in 1912? Uh, no. Because <laughs> Bethany no, that did been a in hard San Francisco one. when I asked her. That would have been a hard one. Yeah. Then, uh, I did, however, we did take a geography She's like, Columbus test. sailed the ocean blue in 1968. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Little known fact, damn. he was a hippie. Yeah, he was He was just looking for a new commune. Super into Jim Morrison. But uh, oh. Matt flexed his American history muscles again mm, when uh, a question came up about the Cold War. Uh, it said, which of these events happened earliest in the Cold War? Mm -hmm, and there was okay. a, a lot of different events listed. Now, I didn't know... The, the earliest one, you know, I, I was I, I went with the Cuban Missile Crisis, which was okay. it was it was in there, you know. What about the 50s? What is the criteria? Well, what happened earliest in the Cold War? We don't know what else happened in the Cold War. Okay, yeah. the like Cuban Missile Crisis uh, was pretty early. Yeah, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Um, Matt, <laughs> that's a hundred dollar bill. That'd be Ben Franklin. That'd be ridiculous. Come on now. Um, but and but Matt went with uh, uh the the downing of the Berlin Wall. As the, uh, as the earliest. earliest. <laughs> Probably the last year that happened in the Cold War. Yeah. Yeah. It was just yeah. like, literally the Cold War. how it ended. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. And he, again, went first. <laughs> that is Done. what he selected. Done, I love it. Which, you go first if you have the lowest amount of points, right? Correct. So, well, that's why he was going he's first. He's just maintaining the lead, is what he's doing. I, it was pretty bad. I that's why my this. profession is video games. Yep. Uh, we, every once in a while, these things crop up on our podcast, uh, which you can see at youtube.com slash kind of funny. What's up? Nice. Lots of get it. Nice plug. There. Plug that uh, we did one where we decided to get a map of the U this country, the United mm -hmm. States of America, and see how many states we could all fill in. Oof. Okay. There's I, some that are easier than others, uh, definitely. You well, get into here, the Midwest area, it gets really here's all those square states yeah. that are just there. Greg is from uh, Chicago, obviously, so he understands sort of all that whole area. Midwest. We had some, yeah, Midwest, yeah. yeah. Uh, none of us are from East Coast. I am from the West Coast. I should have gotten at least all of the states on the Western seaboard, and then the ones that at least... Uh, are on the border of California. Did you get California? I got California. All right. Thank you. Okay. Got Texas, obviously. I, I frequent here a Texas lot. Texas is on a good one. So it's hard to miss. Uh, Washington, Oregon, those are easy. Good. Arizona. Those are easy ones. Arizona and Nevada is where the start and fall apart for me. <laughs> I flipped those. Didn't know where New Mexico you was. You flipped Nevada? Yeah, I screwed up. But just really. Colorado, I think I was like, is, this the, is that the square one? I flags that embarrassed baby. Flags myself. Staff. Greg did well. And then we have uh, Jared Petty, who also po was podcasting with us, who got 100%. Could I, actually, I, could kind of really I couldn't get 100. 100. I don't think I can get 100. Very I think I, I, think I could get damn close though. I right. got. I think at one point I just put Greg sucks in a few of them, uh, <laughs> as you do, because I got really embarrassed and I just threw it on the ground and left. It was pathetic. I did not study when I was a child. I know nothing about history or geography. It's brutal. Did, did you have to leave it for? I did. You know, oh, so I gotta, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I actually got to go too because I got to go get my car. Oh, do you really? Yeah. Okay. Well. There's Mary Poppins. There's Mary Jeff. As Jeff. What's what's <laughs> not pictured is the speed lines. Right. <laughs> As he falls toward man. Earth. Totally <laughs> unimpeded by the and terminal velocity. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, thank you everybody for joining us for this uh, pre-recorded episode of Off Topic. So hopefully, first members are watching this on Friday, <laughs> or, or you know, on not live on Saturday or on Sunday if you're not a first member. And go go see this motherfucker. Thanks Come for out, hanging see out. me, Spider House uh, tonight, 7:30 p.m. in Austin, Texas. It's gonna be fan freaking fantastic downtown. So fun. And if, if you're watching it live. Yeah, yeah if you want to see you more often, you it. If you want to see more often, you can find me at youtube.com slash kind of funny, or you can follow me on any social media platform, Twitter and Instagram and the like, uh, at Nick underscore Scarpino, because uh, there's another Nick Scarpino out there and he's better than me. And, and uh, pow. it's not just the comedy show that you can go see, that RT doc is coming soon. Uh, yes. So yes. Absolutely make sure Details, to TV. What's the name of the doc? Waiting for the Punchline. Waiting for the punchline? Yeah. So they, it's a very sure. clever title you'll understand once you watch the documentary. Don't yeah. want also, buy my shit, my shirt or whatever. Yep, buy Jeff merch in the store. Do it or... Uh, 100% uh, Cover, cover up nipples. those nipples. It's Nobody dark, wants to see them. It's dark nipple proof. I can't, I can't yeah. say that. Seriously, though, Jeff merch is always in limited stock and it always sells out. 
like Jeff merch is always something that sells out. So make sure to snag yours while you can, because I'll get it for free. And that's what I always do because I like them. Uh, but yeah, thanks to Blue Apron for sponsoring the episode. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye, everybody. Ooh.